We're live? Okay. No, uh, hi. No. <laughs> uh, All right. No? Well, what's shit. Up, <laughs> what's up, motherfuckers? Uh, well, what's, what's up, bitch asses? Um, um sure. Yep. Knew... Insulting right off the bat. Huh? <laughs> I knew, I knew. I if I don't profane it. in the first 60 seconds, am I doing my job right? Um, Hello and welcome back to uh, As Above So Below. We have been on it's a, been a hell so of a hiatus. It's been so fucking long. <laughs> we had our holiday hiatus, which for us goes roughly from around mid-November until like March. And now, that gives us what year time. is it? <laughs> that gives us plenty of time to deal with family bullshit, holidays, more family bullshit, and birthdays. Birthday, 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 birthday. birthday. Thank you. Show up my birthday yeah. with a birthday present on my birthday. my birthday. And during that time, for those who uh, follow me on um, on the YouTube's, you can see that me and JoJo got to meet for the first time ever. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we all did. Demon, you're next. You're next, Demon. Everything that ex <laughs> pre-existed this was all time travel. By the way. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Unfortunately, uh, but, Sam is going to be on hiatus until I don't know when, but... <laughs> yeah. That they got is the uh, daily excuse. Yeah, um, <laughs> I'll have a week, like, bi-weekly excuse, but yeah. <laughs> uh, but we are going to go ahead and start back up the session where we had left off. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Actually, you know what? Demon! Oh, Damon. why don't you recap? I thought I was going to recap. <laughs> I was going to have you recap. I was going to have you recap, but I feel like putting Demon on the spot. <laughs> okay, Demon uh, takes good notes. Yeah, like, uh, actually, like, actually. Hold on. Demon, why don't you tell I us I can about give the you the minutes? abridged version. Demon could probably give you a better detailed version, but. <laughs> Demon's been put on the spot. Do it. You got this, buddy. I believe in you. There we go. I wrote literally nothing down from the last. One. <laughs> 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 Solid from memory, oh. buddy. Let's go. All right, all right. What can you know? What you know? What? Let's go a sentence at a time. Demon and then Lustria. <laughs> oh Demon boy! Then Lustria. I remember so I got access to Dragnar got access to his grandfather's uh horde mm -hmm. uh we were i was keeping it as Gragnar was keeping it a secret because he didn't want to share and we <laughs> <laughs> seraphina <true>. got mad <laughs> That's not the uh somebody burnt some eggs uh and then we spent like almost an <laughs> hour and then one? we spent like almost an hour trying to figure out how the fuck that we're going down to the next levels of the underdark oh yeah also luke uh luke can see in the dark now yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> I got, I got goggles. he got glasses got goggles. or goggles or something all right all right, all right. so seraphina <laughs> what else can you add to that too. um uh like going from <laughs> demons thing or like yeah 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 going from demons oh, what else shit. can you add literally your, your all of last session was mostly demon and fron uh fucking around in the horde and then robots coming out and being like who are you yeah. and we um, kind of kissed a little <laughs> <laughs> yeah and then fron was being real <laughs> sus and seraphina was just like where the fuck are you um <laughs> I'm so glad i wrote this shit down and also oh luke is God. very 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 good at making eggs the <laughs> best <laughs> like michelin star <laughs> the charcoal i want to say i want to say luke but, has never um, sounded more like the joker in that moment like a michelin star, <laughs> like a michelin star. Michelin star. oh wait was it also last session where we met gluttony or was that the session before that was the session before. Session before, the okay. Session before. Um, yeah, I have stuff written down for the session before. I didn't have anything written down for the last so, session. I was going to do it, and I kept fucking forgetting. So yeah, most of last session was just uh, finding the horde and messing around on that. And then Seraphine and I got some new necromancy spells or something. Um, and then Sam uh, got a jury summon and went to go fight for her underwater mermaid place. She, she's She's defending uh, underwater super earth. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and uh and that's how Sam's on hiatus for a bit. Um and uh yeah, that's how that ended. Oh, I got a new form. Yeah, that one. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh, that was yeah. the other big thing. Yeah. I knew I was now forgetting he's something. Well dark and handsome. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think yeah. it's like a once a day thing. Dark and handsome. <laughs> I think it's like a I think it's like a once a day thing, right? 
Yeah, it's a once a day yeah. thing. It lasts for an hour. Yeah. It's eight feet tall. <laughs> yeah, big boy. All right. I think well, I think Ragnar is now a bona fide dragon. <laughs> Essentially, Good, you guys have emphasis agreed. on the bone. <laughs> Y'all have. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um. I just want to point out that Polly, like, if you were to say that uh, a dragon uh, were to scale for an actual lizard, <laughs> their penis would only be about a, a little over like a foot and I, a half. So you, I don't know why. I don't know why oh, I thought because you know. I heard you say Polly. I, I for some reason thought that you were gonna hint at like. Like being Polly between Serafina and Gragnar with Frank. That is literally what I was thinking. I was gonna <laughs> say there's two things to that. One, okay, there's three things to that. One <laughs> Serafina would murder anybody who got near Fran. Mm-hmm. Two Gragnar is ace and will probably be very confused as to why this is even a conversation. <laughs> Three, do you really think Fraun? Do you really think Fraun can handle two fucking dragons that really <laughs> like him? <laughs> I mean, you're saying a lot. In 100, 200 years, when Fraun is remembered as a dragon tamer, who's going to know why? <laughs> Hell of chaos, tamer of the dragon. On top of that, on top of that, Fran is too infatuated with Seraphina to look at anybody else. <laughs> That's very true. The the joke from Scrubs of who's that? The only man you're the only person your father ever loved. Like, that <laughs> is that it's like Gragnar's like like small form, except he's like licking his eyeball. <laughs> I love how even in uh, mine and Beck's like RP with Seraphina and Fran, like there we made a joke one time where uh, oh fuck, what was it? It was like where Fran was like talking, or Seraphina was talking with somebody, and then she was just like, "Yeah, Fran's gay," and he was like, "I am." It was like, "Yeah, I see how you fucking over Gretner," <laughs> and I was like, "I am." <laughs> Hang on, <laughs> like, like I'm just saying, I'm just saying, like. I feel like I feel like like three years in, Seraphine is gonna realize real quick that the only other person Fran ever would like love in his life could it's ever Gragnar. show any emotion to is Gragnar. And Gragnar, oh, she's already knows up, that. And like and like, I can definitely see a Hobbit situation occurring. <laughs> it's like she Fran already sees that. <laughs> For months at a time. Where's he at? Uh, oh, your father's just with his boyfriend. <laughs> the three of y'all live together. Hell, y'all share a same bed. And it's just kind of like, so like the three of y'all are together. Oh, no, not like that. No, <laughs> absolutely not. But you sleep in the like same that, bed. Yeah. It's like that TikTok. It's like that one fucking TikTok. It's like me and my boyfriend's boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> It's guy love. <laughs> Two bros sitting in a hot tub, six feet apart because they, they are not gay. gay. Oh, they, they're not gay. They're not gay. <laughs> I imagine Fran had to correct himself when he said that. <laughs> <laughs> not, they are gay. Uh, not uh, gay. Uh, not gay. Uh, <laughs> not gay. <laughs> anyway, I'll get back to you. I'll get back to you. Want to experiment? <laughs> Ragnar with his uh fucking entire like alchemist kit. Let's fucking go. <laughs> completely misreading the situation. Oh, no, that's what Fran meant. Like <laughs> the most really divergent couple ever. Like <laughs> so anyway. I wasn't expecting back on topic. Yeah. <laughs> uh, back on topic. We are starting the session with y'all making your way down because y'all had agreed to walk. Y'all making stayed the night. Y'all down. rested. Well, now y'all are on your way. We're just going to jump into that. Mm-hmm. Um, and so you were given instructions on where to go, essentially. Um, and if I remember correctly, the daughter of the chief said she was going to lead y'all directly to the area. Yes. yes. To, to, Wait. to make sure. The area. Wait, where are we going again? Exactly. Are we going straight down, layer. or are we going to a next? Okay, the next layer. Yeah, the next That's layer. Where there's more emeralds. Yay. Okay, that's right. Were we given a task on who to kill next? 
I don't remember. Not yet. <laughs> Not necessarily. I, I'm genuinely y'all's trying goal, to remember. <laughs> y'all's goal was just to get down to the bottom. Y'all weren't given okay. a who to kill or what. But Gragnar was... did point out that it does feel like there is a split between the groups. Like okay. You have those who decide to follow the the white dragon, which is Seraphina's mom, yeah. as far as you can tell. And then also those who are staying loyal to the Emeralds, as well as those who are being captured by the Emeralds uh, yeah. for various purposes. Also, which hi, Geese. Thank at, you for the hydrate. Uh, yeah, which I've been hinted at. As... Oh, go ahead. Huh? I mean, Leader literally told us, he said that, uh, whenever I think I was saying something about like us like just completely writing off the emeralds. He was like, Oh, you would be surprised who they would go along with with the shit that's been going on in here. Franz yeah. got one of them. Yeah. It's a uh, it's one of the <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's lime flavored. <laughs> <It's lime. laughs> Cause we oh, already yeah. ran into one. So <laughs> no. interesting. But y'all, y'all have also learned from Gragnar that, like, just like the Kingdom United, any cobalt with magic have been kind of scooped up by the Emeralds. Like, oh, they've been offered right. lavish lives and things like that, as well as, like, killed on the spot if they didn't go. So it's like, if you work with us, we can promise you food and protection and territory. Weren't there implications like, that the Emeralds... slaves, but, you know, you got what? more rights than the rest of them. Weren't there implications that the Emeralds were related to the kingdom in some way? Uh, there was implications that the Emeralds run similarly to the kingdom. Okay. In oh, the I- we- and then in we the found e- a barrel down here that had a mark yep. on it. I'm reading that had a mark of the kingdom. It's mm-hmm. the kingdom. Mm-hmm. That's, that's, what it was. that's what it was. Mm-hmm. It was yep. Barrel had a marking of House Greyfell on it. I have that written down. I actually yep. have that. And written. did you write down what House Greyfell was known for? Because uh, Fron knew at the time. Nope, I wrote it down. Fron knows. <laughs> they were they were a merchant guild. I'm pulling up my notes. Give me a second. <laughs> no, I'm trying to get all organized again. And I was like, I don't remember anything. It's been so long. Yeah. I will be actively working after this arc to narrow things down a bit. Because we've built such a luscious world that there's so many people running around. There's so much going on. With three, exactly Basically why. three years that we've been doing this campaign. Mm. It's become so much. <laughs> That's why I have made right. it my point to make a context con tag section of any and all persons we have ever re- ran into. I need to Fucking do that and I just... Deb is on here. <laughs> <laughs> I miss Deb! And Franny, the fucking dwarf that we met from the mining place. Um, yeah. In the city like that the doesn't first... exist anymore. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Anyway. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, but uh, basically, they were merchants, and you re- and Fran recognized that. Um, if you find more notes on that, then I would recommend like running that by the party, just because. Uh, well, the thing not, is that fine. you only you only gave me the what I the basics of what I knew about House Greyfell. You didn't mm-hmm. give me. Um, and I don't further, think you wanted. I think detail. it was the end of the the session whenever we talked about it. Yep. But uh, as but going on here now, you are being led by the chief's daughter mm-hmm. uh, to the uh, to the area right before you would exit into a big space, and she does tell you outright there are other cobalts here. She can hear them, she can smell them. Gragnar, you can verify that um, that you can hear more than a half a dozen feet. Uh, scurrying around and possibly even more in the distance. The thing about caves though is that the sounds distort. Sometimes you hear something. Sometimes you won't hear someone who's two feet away from you in caves. That's just how they function. Um, <clears throat> after she drops you off, essentially, um, she turns around to leave and the hag just kind of Snatches her up. Just oh, yeah. another one. <laughs> the um, hag. Yeah. Look, she's a big fan of y'all. I am not a fan we of hers. Did, I mean, we did get her out of here. I don't like her either. <clears throat> also, I'm so sorry. I'll be, I'll be right back. My mother just told me food is ready, so I will be right back. I'm sorry. 
Wow. Oh my God, wow. really? Oh my wow. fucking God. Literally all I had to eat today was coffee. Leave me alone. Don't go. <laughs> Don't get your food. What do you mean? Coffee's all you need. Mm. You inject the bean juice into your veins. <laughs> Cut out the middleman, mm. just eat the beans. The legume liquid. <laughs> what? Nani? 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 Nande Deska. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Pillar Men are still to this day some of my favorite characters and have one of the best theme songs. Mm, gamer subs. Mm. What? I really want some. Mm, I really, gay. really. I really <laughs> need some gamer subs, honestly. I have drank way too much today. <laughs> Another one. Uh, honestly. DJ Khaled. Another one. <laughs> DJ Khaled. I've got it in my, my head. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Forever ingrained in your brain. <laughs> yep. That was oh, the dumbest shit. I made up a new one the other day that set up skills in street. <laughs> <laughs> what was it in the non pussy eating words of DJ Khaled? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, he was never been on my radar. He has actually never been on my radar. But when he said that, like I zoomed in so fast on this man. I Beck will tell you when I heard that he had said he didn't eat his Ooh. wife out, I, I was like, not a real man. Oh my God. No wonder she's probably running off with someone else. Yikes. <laughs> Someone else will do it. Like, my think... thing that's crazy is he said this shit on, like, you know, on, like, a podcast that everybody else saw. I'm like, that's embarrassing, Chief. That could not be me. Alright, I'm back. <laughs> that should be the last of what I have to do. Fucking, oh, you, could fucking you, you couldn't wring that out of my throat with your bare hands. Like, Oh, it's like that guy that was on Twitter. It was like what? that guy who was on Twitter. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> the alpha Chad guy. No, there's another dude. Um, and I quote: "You guys need to stop lying. The women, or the woman orgasm isn't real. I've been with several women; they never orgasm." <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, yo, there were so many people in the replies that were like, "Bitch, you couldn't have waterboarded that out of me." <laughs> oh my god! Yep. I'm like, yo. Who's gonna tell them? All right. <laughs> All right. So, with that, you guys have now arrived to it, to the area. I'm gonna go ahead and hit F11 so this is full screen. And you can see what is essentially here. There are mm. two, there is an entrance that uh, the, go the Cobalts are apparently not aware of because you guys are able to essentially look in this space and see one Cobalt looking out into a big area. Okay. <clears throat> what do you choose to do? You said you're going to try sneak by last session. Wait, we are did. we needing to sneak by right now? No, I... I'm just letting you know no. what you guys said you're going to do. Mm. I don't know. We had to what be, was I? Like I said, I haven't been this far down, um, so I don't know <laughs> is anything the... about them. Is the cobalt ahead an emerald? Or can we not no, see? he looks like a regular foot soldier. Y'all can it's just made... barely see. Uh, there's it's dim light out this far. Uh, dim, I'd say dim light for about thirty feet. So one, two, three. So one, two, three, four, five. That's five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. So you could see roughly about like the area that actually is being shown here. <clears throat> did they tell us what clan is down here below them? <laughs> they did not. They have no clue. Mm. Uh, okay, never mind. Uh, do we have any context? Do we have any context clues or anything? Uh, you know that the emeralds have been working their way from the bottom to the top, and you okay. were told only this that the emeralds are kind of more concentrated on this floor. Like they've abandoned the lower floors and they're trying to make this floor and higher their bases. So you see this cobalt, and he does have armor. In fact, his armor looks even better than the armor that was on the guys working with mm. the emerald up floor above. above. Okay. If you'd like, I can sneak by and get intel. We'll do what you think, Gragnar. I don't 
fucking know. The only information I have to go off down here is Doc was like, yo, we should probably stop at every floor. But, you know, we ran into one emerald and uh, we saw how that fucking went. Well, we could have to do the vibe check now or later. Forget about the vibe Luke. check. Luke, D20 plus right. a D4. Give me a vibe check. Yay. Let's go. <laughs> Shit. You can see now, Luke. You can see. <laughs> <laughs> the vibe is more than a feeling. It feels so good. Like 15. Yep. <laughs> 15. Okay. Is that plus, with plus four or just? Yeah, with plus four. four. Okay. <laughs> so right now, the vibe is teetering. It's a teetering vibe. Mm. Honestly, it could go either or. Mm. This whole floor feels like it's walking a very thin line and can fall on one side or the other. You're not whimsical and silly. You're not a little guy. You're not suddenly <laughs> and you're scaring the whole. The whole. <laughs> uh, I think our best bet would be Gragnar and Garum walking in first, and then the rest of us walking in behind, because we look too... Yeah. Not dragony? Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Well... No, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> he's he's walking. We should just go. Come on. And, and, and okay. Rob's gonna, like, <laughs> grab, uh, like, Gragnar by his, his hey shirt guys, and just kinda push him forward. Piss. Oh shit! <laughs> oh wait, wait! I got an idea. Got no, an idea. we're not gonna scare the piss out of this guy. <laughs> oh no! I was, gonna, I was just gonna snatch him and grab him into the hole. Where you did that no, before. that's a bad idea. Okay, never mind. Frog, <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> so Gragnar and wait, 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 wait. Question: Did mm-hmm. I just hear them speak common? Yes. Oh. Oh. Fraud's like, hello? <laughs> <laughs> so much for. Uh, uh, fuck. I checked uh, now, I guess. Uh, uh, I, uh, one second. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Gotta shake it. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what? Where did that voice come from? Hello? Over here? Where the fuck is, there a, is over here? Wait, is there oh. a door in front of us? Is that what that is? So it's not a door. You know how I talked about how in caves certain passages are hard to find because just naturally how they're made. Mm-hmm. This is one of those, and it's dim light, so he can't really see oh, it. So he okay. him, he's going to roll investigation. That is a four. <laughs> <laughs> Stand um, back. We'll we'll walk. We'll walk hey, towards you, guys. No, wait, wait, hang on. <laughs> Don't alert the others. There's nothing to be alerted about. <laughs> Why would you say that out loud? <laughs> um, um, hey, guys. No. Wait, 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 intimidation. Intimidation, do not move. <laughs> okay, roll intimidation. <laughs> It's time for the good guy, bad guy. Oh, oh, not 20 plus 2. <laughs> We're so good at breaking the ice. <laughs> Why is the wall telling me not to move? Wait, he thinks we're the wall. <laughs> I have an idea. <laughs> I'm going to do something real quick. I'm going to do something real quick. All right. We're going to decide his intelligence right now. No. Oh, yeah. No. no. <laughs> that is an 11 intelligence. <laughs> that rough, love, it. love it. Love <laughs> it. Uh, 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 don't do anything. We have a whole army of kobolds over here. Step Insight closer. <laughs> I don't really want Insight. to. Insight check. Yes. Roll <laughs> <in> <laughs> Can I also roll insight? <laughs> yeah, you can roll insight. Yeah. Uh, is that a 16 or a 19? Hey, that is a I'm so insightful. Oh, I got a 17. Uh Gragnar, you're you're doubting whether or not there's a whole army down here. In fact, your first initial reaction is to be like <laughs> bullshit. Uh <laughs> Ser- Serafina, you're in the back. You kind of peek over the guy over there and you peek through the wall and you look at him and he's really dressed like an actual soldier mm-hmm. and your insight is telling you he may not be bullshitting he may just be scared like uh, 
I, I, uh, I, uh, <laughs> we will not harm you if you cooperate. Honestly, we're not going to harm you. We just need help. What the fuck are you doing? There's a wall is talking. <laughs> Walls don't talk. This yes, we do. Fucking... <laughs> Deception, please. <laughs> I told you. Uh, uh, I think this is above my pay grade. Wait, I'm gonna the where are you going? Oh, never mind. I don't think you want me rolling deception. I, 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 I roll, roll. A, what are you trying to see them about? Because you're telling them the wall talks. Yes, I'm telling them that the wall is talking to them right now. Okay, roll deception. I, I got a 19 plus nine. <laughs> <laughs> what else do you say, Fran, in this um, moment of deception? We've always been able to talk. It, it, it just uh, sometimes it gets lonely, and we just wanted to have conversation for once. So, do you want to come over here and talk to me and the other part of the wall? And then he like, nudges somebody else, like Luke. And he's just like talk, talk. <laughs> Hello? Oh, yeah, the, the other part of the wall. Oh, fuck. I am the other part of the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I, roll, I rolled I rolled Cobalt 2's intelligence since a 10. We're getting a fairly decent oh, average. Boy. <laughs> uh, uh, can you I'm tell gonna... us can you tell us which way is the uh mm, well uh, mm, I'm going to go get Management. Uh, <laughs> that. What is? What are you gonna tell them? A wall's talking to you. We'll just shut up when they get here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't leave me here with him. You Guys. Can share. <laughs> <laughs> I think <laughs> now would be the greatest time to no, start wait. sneaking. Let them get Walls closer. Talk. And then what we jump mean? them. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> or we can go now. Uh, look, I'll go fucking check. Walls don't talk, okay? Shut the fuck up. Okay, shh, shh, shh. Everyone, everyone, shh, shh, shh. <laughs> talking about talking walls over here? I knew it wasn't crazy. You are most definitely crazy. Hello? <laughs> I am literally not paid enough to deal with this. <laughs> Hello? We're going to have a uh, perception check from the cobalt. <laughs> oh, that is a seven. Ugh. Uh, checking the wall. Fucking checking the wall. Don't see be shit. Funnier if he didn't Can I? What is this cobalt? <laughs> DM, what Guys. does this cobalt look like? Uh, he is a short uh, red cobalt. Uh, in full plate armor. Um, he is uh, just like, he's he's about normal height for Cobalt, so we're talking about four foot on average. Mm -hmm. um, you said he's got again, full plate of armor? He's got full plate of armor. Uh, he's got a helmet on specifically made for him and everything. He's got can a I sword reach, on his side. Can I reach my hand out and use Shock and Grasp? <laughs> <gasps> he is wearing full plate. Oh, True. Uh, <laughs> so we're gonna say his AC uh, for this cobalt is gonna be about is gonna be thirteen. Okay. So he's looking around. So if if you roll below, he could be aware of you. But um, this would be surprise. This would be surprise. <laughs> roll with advantage. Okay. Wait. So roll the just, just flat roll, roll first. Uh, roll with advantage. So regular. Okay, what you're but what am I? Am I rolling a, for a skill? A spell attack. Spell attack. Oh, okay. So add your spell attack bonus. Uh, shit. I'm trying to remember what things are. You guys are fucking insane. I'm just saying. I've heard the walls talk since I was a little lizard, and I think we should go ahead and listen uh, to a new wall over. Fifteen. <laughs> that does it. <laughs> <laughs> We're on the right. How much damage do? Okay, hold on. I gotta I gotta read this. Okay. 
Uh, Lightning Springs Rio Hand delivers shock. Make a melee spell attack against the target. You have advantage on attack roll if the target is wearing armor. Um, on a hit, the target takes 1d8 lightning damage and can't take reactions until the next of its turn. Spell incre- spell damage increases by 1d8 when I reach 5th level, 11th, and 17th. Okay, what are we at right now? Uh, y'all are level 11 or Are we 11? 11? 11. 11? Okay. Yeah. So I do 2d8. Um, right. Which ones are the d8s again? Are they the... They're like they're diamond the, looking ones. Okay, there we go. The eight sided die. Listen, it's been a bit. Okay, so eight and seven. Okay, so okay. 15? 15 damage? 15. Okay, so, and this is where we get to use the fun little thing I'm adding to the campaign recently. Remember, I told you if you do like half of someone's health right off the bat, like it has a status effect? Mm-hmm. No. Uh, so I brought that up a while ago, but it's been a while since y'all chunked somebody. This cobalt has like 30 health tops. So, okay. like, you did exactly half his health. So I'm going to go ahead and take a look here. I have status effects. And because of our particular situation, I'm going to roll a d6. I want to see what it is. It's a three on the chart. He is stunned. Hey! <laughs> Alrighty, so he is stunned. A stunned creature is incapacitated, season condition, can't move and can't speak, on- can speak only... If- uh, falteringly, the creature uh, automatically fails strength and dexterity saving throws. Attack rolls against the creature have advantage. So you stun him, and as he, he, he falls, I'm gonna drag him into the. Do <laughs> 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 you touch him before he falls on the ground? Yes. Or? Okay, so you reach out, and he goes, "I don't see nothing," <laughs> <laughs> and you just. <laughs> you like drag him in. <laughs> All right, Fran or Gragnar, do your thing. As he's stunned, but he looks at y'all and he's like, "Oh fuck!" Hi. Uh, I didn't want to do that, but they did. I just hey. want to fun of y'all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I'm more referring to. You know what? It's fine. <laughs> y'all wanted to talk to them, so I did your job for you. Oh, yeah, right, I was so... talking as a wall. <laughs> okay, we need we need a little information. We need the lay of the land. What's going on down here? Uh, I have a lot of questions I need to ask, but I don't have any specific ones. Uh, what clans down here? <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna cast healing hands on him. <laughs> Right. Uh, you you cast healing hands on him. You remove his stun effect, and he. But I'm gonna hold him down. Well. <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh, what? Wait, what happened? Oh my god! <laughs> I'm covering his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck happened here? What the fuck? Wait, what? Who's the fuck? I'm just going to get really close. <laughs> really <sighs> close. We're trying to make this very civil. We're not trying to walk into whatever ambush or whatever you have going on in there. However, we will fucking kill you. Where the fuck I just you want going? some simple answers. That's all we want. Know. I would listen to him. Intimidation uh, check, maybe? <laughs> uh, roll intimidation with advantage. Let's go! Yay! Oh, so good. Ooh, I got a, a, a 12 uh, plus 2, fuck, uh, 14. That was an advantage? Yes. Alright, so uh, that was <laughs> enough. He is scared. <laughs> he is scared, uh, genuinely, so. Um, I don't fucking see nothing. Wait. Wait. Is there like a hole here or something? I can't quite tell. Uh, Run! <laughs> throw a knife or look, something! Look, look, oh, look, I have an idea. Yeah. No, Please. no, I'm gonna whisper to Ron. <clears throat> tell him to stop fucking with your holes. You're a uh, sentient uh, Stop <laughs> touching my holes! <laughs> <laughs> it is a lie! <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> That's <it> crazy. <laughs> Why were you fondling me? <laughs> we apologize. Your orifices are holy ground. Yeah, 
well, maybe you should tell your friend to stop crawling inside them and, like, he's gonna, like, push their tail out slightly. <laughs> he belongs to me now, and I drag it back to <laughs> wall has chosen to fuck. Wait, that's a fucking wall! <laughs> well, I don't know, man. You heard it talking. I knew it. <laughs> Look, look, it's been so long since I've had conversation. Can y'all just talk to me for a little bit? Uh, uh, and then as Bron is distracting them, I'm going to look down to the the kobold that we have. was like, start talking. <laughs> there are three emeralds here. We're still Where? In the southern part of the cave. Just go south, and you'll come to like a little narrow area, and then you'll come out to like where where, where most of the people are, and uh, we're just watching this area and and the hostages. What hostages? We were attacked, and uh, we we took people hostages. It was kobolds working with troglodytes. It was really fucking weird, but they were really pissed about us coming into their territory, and we kind of got fucked up a little bit. But don't worry, we have some awesome umber hulks on our side. The, the well trained and the emeralds. Oh man, and like they got magic and shit, and it's just great. It's really great. We're we're not bad people. I swear, we only captured them because they tried to gut us alive. How do we kill the emeralds? Didn't you? What the oh, fuck? Nah, we have to backtrack on that one. What do you mean you're not bad people? You just tried to colonize someone else's fucking level. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, we are on the fucking run. Okay, some dude shows Is Mickey up Mouse with his throat slit out, and he starts talking to people with their heads. He starts talking about the Great White Dragon, and we're like, "Hey, wait! The Emeralds are kind of the ones running the place. You want to talk to them?" He was like, "Cool," and then he immediately slaughtered ten. Wait. Was his name Feldris? It was like Feldar, Feldris, fell from the sky. I don't fucking know. He just started murdering people. Shit. Who the fuck is Feldris? The guy at the bottom of the fucking cavern. He's a bl- he's a black uh, 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 kobold slash. The one that used to be fucking Dave Nar or whatever. Out of character. He was, he played, that he was a kobold, but he's like seriously like seven foot tall and like really muscular in a in a very heterosexual kind of way, I will say. But very muscular. <laughs> so we're in the area that Feldris is in. No, 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 no. He is legitimately further down. <laughs> we put as much space between us and him as possible. So he attacked you. Yeah, he ran us out. He said, follow the white dragon or die. And we chose the third option. Kobolds are very good at choosing the third option. All right. Okay, quick. So we have some options here. We can either completely bypass them and go down to the lower levels ourselves and completely disregard that. But there is also the matter that leaders specifically said that they are open to negotiations. The emeralds or these guys? Uh, emeralds, cause I don't, I don't fucking know. I'm, I'm literally the only information I have to go off of is like, it just feels like a good idea to listen to Doc, uh, to go down. He said, visit every level. Um, I'm just following that information, uh, you know, trying to Do you want to talk to the emeralds? Not really. I'm, I'm gonna level with you, but it kind of feels like they're in the fucking way. So I don't want to fight an army. I don't think. Please uh, don't kill me. If we go down to the bottom level now, what do we see? Oh, it's gonna be fucked, man. Like, like he's got a whole group of people. This fucking cult running around, and it's just fucking bad, man. Fucking bad. He's just murdering everyone who doesn't <laughs> listen to him and his goddamn white dragon wife who bullshit. I just want to fucking live, man. I- uh, you do realize that we want to hold, stop the the white dragon. We're trying thing. to stop that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Then fucking like we can work this out then. You know. Okay. Hey. So if you can take us to talk to the <clears throat> emeralds, and there isn't going to be a whole issue with it. I mean, I'm fucking down, man, for anything other than this. Okay. Awesome. What is your name? So, my name is Scratch. 
Yeah. Scratch. You, I have an idea. Yeah. I have an idea. Okay. You can, okay. You I, uh, can totally be like I, uh, the wall I, 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 chosen uh, few. So we definitely. <laughs> what is he fucking? Problems. What the hell? Gotcha. I got you. I got you. Wait, what okay. happened? I wasn't listening. <clears throat> I was like, nothing, nothing. Don't worry about I, it. Okay. <laughs> well, wait. Just look. Okay. Look. I am one of six cobalts that know how to speak common down here, other than the emeralds. That's mostly because we kidnapped a few people a while back, and we thought it'd be really funny to learn like common from them. My you know? sister had a but baby and it lost all of its. <laughs> 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 look, look so, I don't like to tell you anything. Just please don't fucking kill me. That's fine. Okay, we're, gonna so we're not gonna it's kill fine. you. Yeah, we're not gonna kill you. We weren't planning on killing you. We just didn't want you to make a scene. You fucking electrocuted me through a wall. That's my oh, bad. Not, technically, she electrocuted you, yeah. and we were trying to figure out what the fuck to do anyway. And You're she's very dead. sorry, right? <laughs> yes, I just said that's my bad. I mean, we were just trying to get information. <laughs> yeah. okay. okay, so uh, I'm going to need you to... You know what? I have an idea. Um... If you go along with this, I will make you look so good in just a second. Since you're... No offense, but your friends are kind of dumb. Oh, uh, yeah? Well... You know, we were taught to be soldiers, not to be educated. Well, right. I am going to. Group. Yeah, I'm going to make you look even better in just a moment. Okay. Just kind of, okay. just, just kind of go with it, and uh, please don't make a scene, or we will have to fight, and I don't want to have to do that. So one second. Oh. <clears throat> and uh, Fran's gonna like go back <laughs> up to the wall. This is your wall speaking. <laughs> <laughs> Are you still there? Because I don't have eyes. I can't see you. <laughs> Great wall. Great wall. When you lean upon the outside. <laughs> what is your head. name, child? <laughs> My name is Orphus. Or oh, oh, really? Oh. <laughs> really? Orphus. The, um... I I have something to say. I'm going to be sending out my chosen few. The wall has claimed the the tallest and strongest. And uh you are to treat them with nothing but respect and in the time being I will be I will be uh completely silent until their return. Um <laughs> If you have questions, come to me. Light candles, give me something like a bug. I don't care. Put it in my orifice. It'll be fine. <laughs> Why did you my ask for bugs? I don't fucking know. My chosen few are coming out now. Do not attack them or you will anger the wall. <laughs> Of course, great powerful wall Orphis shall speak on your behalf. Thank you. All right, oh, I am word. sending out the okay. first of the chosen, and then he's Scratch. gonna he's gonna look at what's his name? Scratch. 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 He's gonna look at Scratch. All right, so now you're a chosen, so you're gonna be I don't know hailed oh, as such. I feel like an Aku is coming. <laughs> <laughs> So, out of character, I just realized an unfortunate misunderstanding. Oh that's no! Going to oh no! Because you, you said leave candles and shove bugs into my orifice. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> they have been chosen. <laughs> Luke, uh, say that out loud. We'll, <laughs> we'll deal with that. We'll deal with that later. It's fine. Oh, we'll do this <laughs> like, okay, I see now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um. So then, uh, Fran is going to crawl out after Scratch. Oh, it is a and I'll follow one. suit. Um. Hello. I he am is chosen. I am chosen from the wall. <laughs> oh. Um. Keep it in your pants, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to follow then, suit. <laughs> there are more of us. Uh, do not attack for you will anger the wall. Okay, who's next? <laughs> who else is coming out? I think, I think Luke should come out next. He's gigantic. <laughs> I do am an emissary of the wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the wall. Uh, I'll wave my hand in front of me after you, Garam. <laughs> I don't know why this worked. 
Another emissary. Hmm. Yes, we are chosen another of cobalt. the wall. Another cobalt was chosen. We truly are the people of God. <laughs> the wall. Yes. Of the, wall. the wall. Yeah. The wall. The wall. The wall. It's <laughs> divinity. It's not the just Godhood. Um, the I was. <laughs> Uh, Fraud is, Fraud is gonna walk over to the, the one named Orphis, and, uh, he's gonna, he, he's gonna put a hand on their shoulder and be like, uh, take this as a gift from the wall, and it's just, like, bug shells ground up in the mud. I heard that this is a really good hangover remedy. <laughs> they walk away! We shall We shall consume the bugs, and we shall consume this as if it were overworld or wine. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, that's great. Oh. No, never mind. Oh. I'm not going to do that. That'll actually kill them. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to kill them. We, um, yeah. we need to go to the, uh, to the, to the, to the, to the emeralds. No! We must give them the word of the wall. Oh, wait. No, we do want to the yes, emeralds, right? Yeah, okay, yeah. never mind. Uh, <laughs> we, uh, scratch. we shall uh, obey. This is fucking weird. We gave birth, birth to people. We are witnesses to the birth of God. Yes. I don't know what the fuck is going on here. Take us to your leaders. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go ahead and shift. <laughs> I know I've said this many times before, but bards are fun. <laughs> oh my god. Let me leave you. <laughs> we shall guard you as well. I sure. Leave. The fucking don't touch my holes comment still is making me laugh. <laughs> I, <fucking said> it. <laughs> I will uh, go talk to them. Uh huh. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh, that's a whole. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, that's it's why. I, uh, that's why I didn't want to come in here, guns blazing. We are gonna die. Oh my god. Yeah. I'm gonna take mental note of everything we pass. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do 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 do. You pass the area where you see cobalt and a troglodyte, a single troglodyte. Uh, uh, surrounded by a bunch of cobalts, and he seems to be standing at the forefront, locking eyes with you, Fran, as you look at him. Uh... And mm, troglodytes trog trog are the ones you fought that were like worshiping <laughs> oh, Osmodos's yeah. son. Oh yeah, we killed all this. Them. Oh this, yeah, uh, this one is standing like troglodytes are big. This dude, especially compared to the cobalts, he's probably ten feet. Oh. And he's got he like fit in the cage. God what's he damn. looking at me for? He's hunched. He's looking at you, and he fucking. Well, you do have the arm around your feet. He mm -hmm. looks at them. He looks at you, and he snarls. Uh huh. And troglodytes smell like really bad. Ron. Yeah. <laughs> as he leans against the wall, you hear in the elven tongue, "Sell out, cheat." Oh. Mm, 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 mm. Hey, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop in my tracks. <laughs> I'll be like, mm. Who are these people? They are emissaries of the wall. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm gonna hear it out loud. <laughs> yeah, it sounds really bad. Okay. And the fuck is the wall? You shall not speak poorly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, what the fuck is going on? The wall talked, and these guys came out, and they said they want to talk to the emeralds. And I'm a bit freaked out. Uh, uh, uh Will, would you like the emeralds first? Okay. And why the fuck is Orphis even? Why is he in charge of anything? I'm just saying that he is 110 percent right on what occurred. 
We talked to the wall. The wall gave birth to these people and then told us that as emissaries of the wall, we should treat them well. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna just stay at my post. I'm, <laughs> I'm I mean, not. Be, <laughs> I'm not saying this in character, out of character. To be fair, the whole cave system is made of walls. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. If he see, he will be dealt with my liege. I do apologize. Out of curiosity, what uh, what are the the ones caged up for? Oh, they were the and ones why is there a troglodytes. Uh, well, you see, there were some troglodytes who apparently had uh, splintered off of their group because they, those uh, troglodytes apparently were worshipping some sort of monster. And so they got um, ran out because they said, uh, fuck you. And that is not the hyperbole. Wall sent us to kill the what monster? monster? The wall uh, sent it, us to kill the monster. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, was, it, was a, it was like, I don't know, it, it like killed an entire bunch of like... Uh, drow villages. Oh, we, that we monster! Yeah, that one. We yeah, killed no, that one. Us, yeah, yeah, we the got wall that sent one. Just to take care of that. Uh -huh. it's not a we killed it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Truly, the wall. Now we're here to take care of y'all's problem. Yeah, we're here to help your problem. Mm -hmm. The wall shall provide. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick while you guys are all talking with him. I, I want you to know that like he is he is taking shot. everything. He is taking everything you say as if it is religious doctrine. <laughs> this is the gospel. I am the also going to pee. The wall provides, the wall shall taketh away. Because the entire cave system is made of walls. <laughs> the wall hears all. <laughs> the wall is chosen. <laughs> Farewell, my friends. <laughs> I'm off to a better place. They just crawl into the hole. <laughs> <laughs> There's no reason this should have worked. It really should not have worked. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we could use lots of backward lo logic, and it makes sense. We have an insight incident. We have mm -hmm. seven uh, witnesses. I can use deception to y'all's advantage. It's great. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. We have seven witnesses and everything. We're set. All right, I'm back. We're set. Welcome back. The Great Wall of Dark. He fought. Stay fortified, brother. <laughs> Oh my god, my fucking face hurts. What bullshit doctrine have you been spewing out, huh? Oh, I said the wall, the wall giveth and the wall taketh away for the entire <laughs> cave is made up of walls. <laughs> and again, he just sits there, he's like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> he has been validified. He has been validified by the fact that he has heard voices oh, his entire life. There is a, Gragnar, tell them about the sanctuary. The one in the desert. In the promised Your land. sanctuary. <laughs> Your sanctuary, Gregor. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were talking about like a temple or something. No. <laughs> I, want know, I want you to know that's the same energy as tell them about why. <laughs> Zim, I'm going to why. <laughs> Zim, I will. What? <laughs> Followed by your <laughs> your ugly when you lied to. I'm not lying. <laughs> then why are you, why are you ugly? ugly? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Luke, some choose to be mortified, but you, chosen believers, must stay fortified. <laughs> 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 Lose 50 experience. This is the stupidest thing we have ever done. I swear to I fucking no. This is definitely I, on par no, with Scarab Man. man. Yeah. Scar yeah. yeah. <laughs> Legion. Now tell them about one the one sanctuary. The Legion. It's one of the walls, Legion. Write that down. Write that down. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Ron is writing that down. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna turn to the the 
I guess whoever else is here. Um, we had there is a sanctuary you can go to in the desert, and I'm gonna oh. nudge Ragnar. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Um, there's a new city being built out in the desert. You know, you don't have to worry about getting attacked by things in the caves. But also, leave, like, but if uh, we leave, then we would be leaving the wall. No, that's the thing. The wall is with you wherever you go. The wall is the floor. <laughs> If you think about it, (laughs) (laughs) the wall, the ceiling, the floor, (laughs) all that that surrounds you, all that protects you and keeps you safe. It is a promised land. Big brain meme. The big brain meme. It's all connected. (laughs) (laughs) And you can see that, like that one cobalt's taking it in. The others are kind of really skeptical. Skeptical, but like his fervor (laughs) is kind of keeping them in place. Uh, Like like he's buying it hook, line, and sinker, and the others are like, we don't know what to do. Like, like, this you dare question the wall. Wide eyed and wild. Oh no, my god. Do, weren't there some of the ones that ran down here? Yeah. Mm. Okay, so we could totally fucking use that. Remember, we collapsed the fucking floor. Yeah. <laughs> we collapsed the floor and then a whole fucking army came out. My legions. My legions. My legions. This place is a very dangerous area. Okay. There are many, many of the sand dogs here. Oh. You hear from TikTok? Hi! <gasps> What's up? Hello! Good stomach. And I just... No, I- <laughs> so, as you all look around, you do see that there are multiple, like, uh... Mm-hmm. Bullets. Oh, oh, fuck, bullets, no! A lot of bullets. And you, you see that these guys stuff. actually have, like, have a corral mm. of bullets that they actually like have around here, as well as cobalt riding bullets as if they were like oh, mounted shit. steeds. Um, you watch as the, co- the cobalt see that you're surrounded by others, so they don't immediately attack, but you watch as like the ones on the steed seem to have almost like sharper eyes. They're almost they're ready to strike. In fact, one of them actually steps forward. What are you doing here? Oh, the wall, the wall head dwarf is <laughs> just the fuck up. <laughs> I, I am in a hysteria of the wall. Um, we I, are. I didn't talk to you, Top Welder. Where's Scratch? Ah, uh, up ahead. I'm uh, I remember correctly? I'm actually no. Scratch stayed forward. behind. Uh, that was that was Will. Oh, okay. I could have swore it was Scratch for some reason. Scratch. Why <laughs> is your regiment acting like fucking lunatics? <laughs> oh, you see, you see, uh, the wall talked. These guys came out, and uh, and and we want to bring them to the emeralds to decide what to do with them. Decide. Shut the fuck up. Can I can I walk over next to Scratch? Uh, as yeah, you go to step to the side, the uh, cobalt, to whisper, the no, cobalt no. on the uh, on the bullet mm. takes a long metal spear, and it is all made of metal. And he just holds it down in front of you. Don't move. You dare step up. You stare. No, you no, it's fine. Or, 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 or it's fine. No. Orphis gets run through. No! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can, before, before the spear hits him, can I put my hand on him and cast shield? Yeah! You cast Protect shield. Protect him! And, and as it comes down, Protected it's brings the wall. off of him. And you the- watch as Orphis saw his life flash before his eyes, and then a golden orb surrounds him. <laughs> The weapon stinging off of it as the <laughs> shield doesn't even doesn't even shatter. It stays and pulsates for a moment and then fades. Praise the Fran is going to Fran is going to touch a orifice on the shoulder and put him behind him. So he's gonna stand in front. I see. <laughs> 
that you have lost control of your group. No, 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 no. It's, it, it is simply that they have grown attached to Orphis. He has been very good to them, and we would like to go ahead and see if the Emeralds could use some assistance in the issue we're dealing with. And you watch as that uh, the difference between a 10 and 11 kicks in for Scratch. <laughs> you see, we need help. They came out of a talking fucking wall. They pulled me in, and the wall was talking to them as it was talking to us. And so, we are trying to find a way to stop the lunatics downstairs. He's trying to roll deception. Uh, I want a bardic inspiration for him. <laughs> okay. Is that a d6? Uh, that's a d8. d8. Is okay. it a d8 now? Yeah. Yeah. Hang oh, on. Shit. Hang on. Let me go. That, that helps. That helps. Yeah, it's a D8. <laughs> that helps a lot. Because he rolled a 10 and he's got a 15. Oh, oh yeah. And you watch as the cobalt up top, who has an intelligence. Six. That's two sixes already. Uh he has a 15 intelligence. Oh. Uh, he looks there and he looks at him. Fine. We'll take them to the emerald. And he whistles, and you see that the others begin to come forward. We take them to see the Emerald. If they move, run them through. And you watch as these particular guys are on, bullets actually have armor. Uh, yeah. And on the armor, you see the symbol, uh, Gragnar, for wall. You've come to recognize it as it was on the <laughs> other... <laughs> That's super uh, I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the symbol for wall also stands for stone for the cobalt. <laughs> and so you see the symbol. We're using that. Oh my god. We're <laughs> using that. See the wall skin for <laughs> Do my leash. I do see it. The wall protected me. No, the wall protected you. Yes, yes, that's what he said. But me. <laughs> and you see, as you begin Praise to work your way down, wall. and <laughs> as you begin to work your way down, oh you also see, <laughs> you see other cobalts coming out, and you're, you see dozens of cobalts coming out of like holes and stuff in the wall, all of which were waiting. Uh, all the ones you see on the map are not all the ones who would have shown up in a fight. Uh, you see snouts sticking out from behind walls, and some are even climbing the ceiling uh, with, like, spiders that they have mounts on. And as you look around, you see that they are essentially a fully functioning <clears throat> regiment of soldiers, plus. Oh, no. And as they you approach, you see an Umber Hulk. Three of them. Jesus. Yep. Oh, boy. Christ. <clears throat> oh, no, no, no. No, images. thank you. This it's a big beetle man. I hate it. Hulk. But this is more accurate to what you see. <laughs> oh, no. oh, like your beetle man. Fairfina just sees a bug and she's like, <laughs> <laughs> if we go, if, Thank you. And if we go back to uh, their setup here, uh, Umber Hulks are fucking big. Uh, and by huge. that, yeah, they're they're labeled their size. Large. Okay. Yeah, they're large, so they are uh, human like size. They're ten, eight, eight feet. Are actually, like, absolutely like least ten. Yeah, they're eight. Size. Yeah, they're eight to ten feet. Uh, these guys with a <laughs> large, they are definitely on the more ten foot, ten and a half. Uh, uh, large. I, I think large goes from eight to sixteen feet, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Yeah. So these guys, these guys are built, and their arms alone are wider than your chest. Oh shit! Uh, they make Luke look small. Oh, wow! <laughs> Luke, how do you feel are... about that? <laughs> and Luke. as they do, the cobalt who had attempted to uh, stab uh, Orphis uh, walks forward, and the Umber Hulk steps in front. <laughs> Both of them here, and this other Umber Hulk steps in front as well. So you have three of these guys, just shoulder to shoulder. And you watch as this cobalt 
pulls out a necklace. He holds it up. And the Umber Hulk leans forward and seems to chitter a bit as it sniffs the necklace. And then steps to the side. Can I possibly see what the necklace is from where I am? Uh, you could. Um, roll a in, roll a perception check. Please roll good. I haven't rolled higher than a 10 so far. I rolled out of the fucking thing. Hold on. Oh, no. Just know All your right. perception can't roll less than what your perception is. Okay, what is my... Okay, yeah, I forgot. I don't have a bonus of perception. Uh, 14. All right. You look and your your snout. You realize that it's it's like an eggshell, and it mm-hmm. and it's got a very similar scent to the Umber Hulk itself. Um, but it seems to smell like like slightly rotted eggshell from your distance, and you kind of work your way a little bit closer mm-hmm. uh, without meaning to, and a cobalt stops you, and he just kind of goes. <clears throat> But you can see that it is, in fact, looks like a a vial full of something. And he steps forward. Uh, Yeah, so that's what happened. And oh, my God. And he turns around. Uh, Mm. Mm. We will see them outside, everyone. Uh, Don't got to tell me twice. Oh, these are the emeralds? Uh, Yes. Call Tasha. Uh, of course, of course, I shall call Tasha. Uh, uh, Lady Tasha. Uh, you are wanted. And you see a very thin green cobalt, almost like sickly thin, begin to walk forward with a emerald hanging around her neck. I Look see. Color. We, uh, the emerald itself is uh, green as well. Mm. I see that we have visitors. I will prepare a space. And you watch as she then proceeds to use mold earth on a level you have never seen before to remove the entire damn near five foot thick wall of this space and proceeds to then go ahead and move her hands. Oh, that's not going to move. Cool. Uh, Then she proceeds to use her hands to make a new wall, a new area that will essentially allow for y'all to have some privacy. Damn, that's crazy. She's moving walls. That's wild. We could use that. (laughs) (laughs) Leave us. Of course, of course. She is chosen by the wall. (laughs) Come inside. And you watch as the other kobolds uh, kind of move out of the way. The only ones to proceed to enter are two of the Umber Hulks. One of which outside. Fun. You know what I haven't he, done this entire time that I'm down here, and now I'm questioning. Now I should probably think about that. Do Kill any something? of these cold? No, any of these. Well, we've done that several times. <laughs> <laughs> Many <laughs> times. The second we got down here, I murdered a giant centipede. <laughs> that oh was yeah. Well, that was well established that we were coming down here to murder some shit. Um. No, my thing is, have I like recognized anybody from like when I was like. Here, I haven't you, thought to ask that. You don't recognize anyone down here. Mm-hmm. Not cool. That's not good. anyone off the bat. That's, That's good. Uh, you are essentially the the Umber Hulk walks up and then turns around to lead you in. I will follow. We follow. We are so fucked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the Umber Hulk stands in the way. And then proceeds to slam its hand on the ground. And you watch as a wall lifts, closing you in. That Umber Hulk just used magic. Mm. Was it Mold Earth? It looks like it might have been Mold Earth. From what we can speculate, yes. Mm Mm-hmm. 
<clears throat> I see that you have divided our already divided group, says the green female cobalt in front of you. Eh, I wouldn't say divided. They kind of went about came it to their own and, speculation. <laughs> yeah, they kind of came to their own conclusion and used yes. to be able to come talk. Cult of the wall. One thing, actually, that did exist at one point. They believe that the wall giveth and the wall taketh away. <laughs> <laughs> we killed them all. Hmm. Because, well, they got fanatical. They didn't want to dig tunnels without doing something. They didn't want to carve ore from the earth without doing something. So explain to me why I shouldn't just have me and my friends here cause this entire room to cave in on you. Because you have bigger problems to worry about, like the, the enemies you have below you. And we can help with that. You. Upworlders. And she walks up to you. And her eyes glow blue. Mm. Mind if I take your hand for a moment? Sure. And I'll extend my hand up to her, because I'm assuming she's taller than me. Uh, no. Surprise! Ooh. I expected them to she's be taller. Three foot. <laughs> you're tiny. Yeah, you're gigantic right now. <laughs> the other, no, the other two, oh, okay. very silent. The other two very silent emeralds in the room. One is a staggering six foot on his own, but he oh. is built like a brick house. The well, other one is short and pudgy, and he almost looks like he's about to piss himself. He's so nervous, <laughs> just kind of like this. Oh no! He looks like that guy from Five. I I just imagine looking from that guy from Five Nights at Freddy's. Um, question: Where? What emeralds are they wearing? You so see a green, a green emerald. You see a red emerald, and you see a blue. The blue being on the pudgy, the red being on the bigger one. Okay, gotcha. <clears throat> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's just the first thing I can think of is he looks like Doug. <laughs> and as you, uh, as she takes your hand, you feel like something is being sucked away from you for a split second, like something mm -hmm. flowing through you into her. And she sits there, her eyes going blue, and they glow slightly more so. Thrawn, this looks very familiar. How familiar? Familiar like how seekers gather information. Ah, Fron's gonna grab Gragnar oh! and pull him back. And as you grab Gragnar for a split second, something from you flows through Gragnar and no! to her. Oh! 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 oh. oh. That is a nat 20. Oh, fuck! Uh, yeah, we are cooked. <laughs> <laughs> you're from the kingdom and she tilts her head up to Fron and you you are lower than even the mud yes but still chosen of the ancestor and she begins to walk around you all uh -huh. so nice to see those who have also seen the outside world and you see the other slightly nervous one going, uh, <laughs> Should we maybe discuss this at a later time? We need to keep moving. No. They will be more than enough. Uh, Isn't that for... right, Fran? What do you mean? Oh, uh -huh. Felidar. Oh, I remember the days of hearing of your murderous intent. <laughs> Back when I was one of the slaves. And she pulls her hand down and she has the mark on her wrist. I do not go by Felidar anymore. Right, you chose another name. But it, you pulled away before it was etched. What is it now? 
Alistar. That's a good name. Far less of our blood right, don't you agree? That was the purpose. I do not condone what the kingdom is doing. So you came uh-huh. down here to right the wrongs? No. I came, how, I came to help my friend. That's right, that's right. You became friends with a cobalt. Who would have thought? They are our guests here. Do you hear me? Thrash? And you watch as the big one nods. And he begins to jump yeah. on the back of his uh, Umber Hulk. Can I make so an we- inside check? Yes. Oh. As you make that inside check, uh, Thrash is going to go ahead and that jump on the back 14. of his Umber Hulk. And he is going, the Humber Hulk's going to turn around and just the wall drops and he walks through. I rolled a 14. You see excitement on her eyes. You see a shift in her from when you first walked in where she was very, very calm, very refined to this almost childlike glee in her. I see that you also killed some other emeralds, but we will forget about that, right? Sure. Right. And she looks at the rest of you. Right. Nod. Only if it helps us. Honesty, I appreciate it. And you, tall, dark, and married... (laughs) <laughs> and you watch as Garam goes <laughs> yep find me mm. <laughs> now I need to ask was that vile beast down there that slaughtered my cane uh, truly a cobalt at one point uh, you're talking about uh, Feldris. Yes, that's what he called himself. Feldris. He used to be called Davenar. <laughs> that is a completely different vibe of a name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's from my clan. And he took Ooh. my father's name. Oh. Let me see something. And she turns around. Well, Rotate! And he goes... <laughs> <laughs> and on his back is like a large satchel that she flips open and she reaches into. I was told that if at all I came across a group of topsiders like you, that I should deliver something from Veltris, might I add. He gave this to me before he cut off my tail. And you look and you just notice that she is one of the few cobalts without a tail. He's a very vicious man. Truly, I would have gone for him if he uh, wasn't such a sociopath. And she hands a letter over to Gragnar. And the letter seems to be wrapped around something. Uh, I want to see what the something is and then read the letter. You open the something and there's a very familiar bolt in it. A bolt? Like um, like for a crossbow Crossbow. kind of bolt. And the letter states the letter states next time, don't miss. I'm gonna fucking kill him. (laughs) <laughs> I'm gonna fucking kill him <laughs> Fran's gonna like lean into Serafina and be like so what's the what's the bolt for when we came down here the first time Gragnar shot him missed nah, I hit the first one the second one I missed <laughs> Gragnar you'll notice that this one is the one covered in his blood He said that he knew you'd come down this way eventually. 
How, I don't know. Apparently, he had someone he called the White Oracle. Yeah, she's down there. It's it's a whole thing. There's 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 a lot going on. A lot more than I think you or any of the other emeralds know. But then again, I don't know. And anything Serafina about you. is keeping her mouth shut. <laughs> no, no, You're doing so no, good, honey. No. Secrets. <laughs> I did get a little bit from her, but it was through him, and she points to Fron. He has you all over his mind, might I add. Now, I'll answer one question, and then you'll answer one of mine. I was an experiment by the kingdom to see if other creatures had capabilities of being watchdogs. Hmm. I used that to my advantage before I got it. My previous owner came down here and with my knowledge and power became an emerald. Started from the bottom, now I'm here. <laughs> Shut the yeah. fuck up. Yeah, Aaron. <laughs> oh, this guy. That was sick. Now, you answer no, a question. Each of us yeah. or in general. Ooh, yes, let's have each of you answer a question. Oh, I was asking out of character, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> you really don't have time for this. And you watch as she takes her hand and rips it upward and stone wraps around the short uh, pudgy cobalt. And he goes, mm-hmm. I'll answer two questions if you tell me what that's about. <laughs> oh, using magic? Like that? No, 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 that, fuck that, I can use magic. Um, <laughs> why, why You're not special! He's, <laughs> why he's so worried about some time limits, where... Well, oh, because they know where we are. Now, they know where, like, most of y'all are. They kind of oh, no, they know time. exactly where we are. Because they attacked us last night, and we lost half our numbers. This is half. <laughs> this is half. That's impressive. <laughs> I'm a very organized woman. Hmm. Now, I have a question for. I did say I, I, did say I would answer too. Uh, let's word. say the human with the weird goggles. <laughs> Luke. <laughs> Luke. <laughs> oh well, yeah. No, I'm waiting for the question. <laughs> Such a respectable young man. He's great. Mm-hmm. And she sits there and she thinks for a second. I honestly, thought I'd kill you by now. Didn't get to the point of I said. Do you like three foot tall? <laughs> I mean, I'll try anything once. Oh, okay. <laughs> and she just kind of sits there and she goes, <laughs> All right. Next question for Gragnar. In your new little city you built up top. Is there any room for emeralds? There are. However, I have specifically told every layer, since I've gotten down here, we're getting rid of the caste system. That's not up for negotiation. Oh, no, of course not. You are the great chosen by the ancestor. I wouldn't dare argue with you, now would I? Don't patronize me. (laughs) Big words from mud. But... Big words from experiment. <laughs> oh! <coughs> Sorry. I tripped up my spit. <laughs> <laughs> I am... If I had known someone like you had been down rolling in that mess, I would have brought you to the top along with me. Now, I'm fine with getting rid of the cast system. But... My next question is for you, big, tall, and too many deals. Uh-huh. 
I love that Fran knows exactly who he is. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was Jerome. <laughs> Oops. Nah, too many deals. Oh, deals. <laughs> I got just a speck. Could I get more? Of I need what? to know whether whether or not I can trust you. Is it necessary to dig around in my brain to do that? Or is there any way that I can prove it? Oh, I learned not to trust people's words a long time ago. That is fair. I do come from a long line of people who are untrustworthy when it comes to our words. What? And you could always say no and our agreement would end here. And then you can fight everyone out there after you kill me. What did I miss? Why would I kill you? Because if I can't trust you, I'll kill you. Oh, that's fair. Look. If it will give you trust, just don't use anything against me, please. I am genuinely trying to move past it. And she proceeds to take your hand, her eyes go blue. No promises. Uh, and she sits so there for a solid <laughs> moment holding on to your hand. And you watch Fran is, as... Fran's going to seem unfazed by it. Just kind of like deadpan expression. She's, she's Fran, really you can spiked. feel something kind of rolling out from you into your hand and into her. And uh, she okay. proceeds to laugh then cry then shows a face of anger, then compassion. There's a, a moment where she sh shifts through all these emotions almost knee-jerkingly fast. Like, it is very much an unnatural scenario to watch that many expressions on someone's face so quickly in, in succession, repetitively, over the course of, like, 30 seconds. Uh-huh. And she eventually latches on to you almost uh, like uh, unintentionally her claw digging into your arm a little bit you realize you reached out with Osmodeus's hand oh i never said which hand i reached out with aaron you, you chose that yes yes i did you never said <laughs> what well, you didn't tell me which hand you just you didn't tell me either just go with it. <laughs> whatever, okay. She's gonna fucking hurt herself. It's fine. It's whatever. People hurt themselves when they touch me. <laughs> I mean, she asked for it. <laughs> like suckling the teat right now. Got ready. Fran is going to yank his hand away. And Sorry, I have to give you this one. <laughs> as you yank away, her eyes uh, flash a white-esque color, then green, a little flash of red, and she comes back to herself. You all fucked up! What? Yeah. yeah. That's an I mean, I really could have told you that without you having to go through all of my trauma. And I would have never believed you! <laughs> I could have shown you, but I... Holy shit. For oh, her? Oh, That's your woman. Yes. You won't stand by that. <laughs> I'm gonna stick beside her. I'm gonna stick beside her. <laughs> Seraphine is just standing there with her arms crossed, just unfazed. <laughs> Locked in. You best prove your worth. All right. Yeah, well, yes. I will be more than happy to go to your city if it means I am anywhere but near you all. <laughs> Fair enough. You kill that uh -huh. cobalt piece of shit, and I will literally lick your boots. I don't want that, but right. I'll kill him. That's we'll literally the, the whole reason we're here. Yeah. I know. Holy shit. Well, I wonder what would happen if I shook the other one. I wouldn't do that either. 
Imagine also, maybe next man. time, maybe next time, don't just reach forward and grab somebody by the hand. Otherwise, you know, there are consequences for actions, and that was definitely your consequence for touching my hand. <laughs> the What's the old saying? I don't know which one would be worse. <laughs> One would be kinder. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, Osmodeus would, would be worse. Yeah, Why yeah. One spicy? would be kinder. <laughs> Hold we your got, hand. We got the spicy, and then we got the mayo. Hold <laughs> Swan's hand. Why is it spicy? <laughs> <laughs> well, I could have told you that. <laughs> Every morning, I sprinkle cayenne pepper on my arm. <laughs> 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 okay, hold on. I kind of need, I kind of need that snippet animated right now. <laughs> <laughs> Is it spicy? And it cuts to every morning. I sprinkle cayenne pepper on my arm. <laughs> spread Osmodeus arm. But I want, but I want it to be like, like the uh, Salt Bay, like. Yeah! like, <laughs> <laughs> like ah, there we go. Ready for the day. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, back to this moment. She <laughs> looks at. You know, wide-eyed like she is just like come across the best Christmas gift ever. I don't celebrate Christmas, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the best Yule gift ever. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Your Yule log just keeps burning. Actually, I'm from the kingdom. We don't celebrate anything. <laughs> Except the kings. <laughs> it's okay. I'm teaching him how to I'm teaching him about holidays. <laughs> I don't know how old I am. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> Alec. And you watch as the uh the, the nervous cobalt. Yes. What was his name? Valak? Felek. F-E-L-A-C-K. <laughs> Thank you. This game is dangerously close to phallic. <laughs> it I'm might as well be. I'm it like I'm spelling. Gather the others. We're teaming up with the wall. <laughs> Praise. Praise the, the wall. wall. <laughs> of course. And you watch as the uh, the wall behind you drops. And Phallic kind of works his way around. Excuse me. Pardon me. Please go. Please go. What was her mm -hmm. name? What was the yep. other guy's name? Just so I can have them written down. Oh, it's Lady Tasha, Thrash, and Felek. Mm -hmm. To the front. If I had if I had a copper for every time we walked through a wall today, I'd have two copper. It's not a <laughs> lot. But it's weird that happened this many times. <laughs> now, I'll say this. I also need your assistance with something else. Who is she talking to? Is. The kobold we have captured. Mm. And that troglodyte. I didn't notice that. I thought that was odd. Well, you see, the troglodyte joined their clan when we ran them out. We didn't exactly have a choice, obviously. Now, normally, I would have them all flayed and splayed out for everyone's amusement. But that troglodyte is their leader now, by default. I he need you. Elvish, why? I'll ask you a question, Fran. Why would a troglodyte who is friends with Cobalt married the daughter of a clan leader who we may or may not have disemboweled. No elvish. Why would I, a cobalt, no common, and take his time, or her time, I'm sorry, to teach others that language? <sighs> Fair. Your people, Fran. Not my people. They're in your blood. It's your ancestry. And this isn't me using it against you. I'm just saying know who you are. Because if you try to forget, who says you can ever get better? I didn't say I was trying to forget. What? Then let's go ahead and make new memories. <sighs> oh, also, dinner's in three hours. 
Mm. Come one, come all. The wall has spoken. <laughs> we, the emeralds, have received messengers from the wall. You think it's bugs? If Mother's Embrace has heard our sorrows <laughs> and known our pain Do we as we were moved from home to home, we have lost man, woman, and child, wives and husbands, partners. Even those we wished to kill were stolen from us in some occasions. But the wall, the mother of our people, oh my God. has sent forth her children to guide us. Mm -hmm. wait, the wait. wall giveth, and the wall taketh away. Wait, that's real? The wall no. shall provide <laughs> all. She's, she said there was a cult before, and then she, she did say that. Them. Yeah. I, oh my god, I thought we made it up. No. I thought, I thought in my past life, as you know, <laughs> that the wall was but a cult of madmen. I oh, don't know. Kind, it's kind and of... I laid them out in front of you, flayed and dead and gutted. True. I dined <laughs> on their bone. Oh god, we as many of life. you did. Oh my god, I hope not. But <laughs> I will say this, the wall has offered me salvation. Well. And has offered me a place <clears throat> among their chosen. Uh, yep. Yep, yep. 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 Did we? Yep. Hmm. Franz gonna nod. <laughs> 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 yeah. mm -hmm. like Leans over to Seraphine at the city. Yeah. <laughs> city yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And mm. also, <laughs> a salvation awaits us up top. The wall shall embrace our feet, but shall let us see the sky for the first mm. time in many our lives. Mm -hmm. A new city, mm -hmm. yep, where in yep. which we, the emeralds, have agreed that the caste system that built us to where we are was <laughs> one that separated us rather than united. Is she taking credit for your thing? Who? It's fine. It's fine. Just keep going. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. And the great chosen of our ancestor has given us not only the word of the wall, mm. but of the red <laughs> dragon who wishes to guide us to salvation. Yeah, oh, she, she's just gonna. She's just gonna toss that out. Just like that. Oh, okay. <laughs> she's oh, throwing out all our secrets here. Powerful Gregna, first oh. of the chosen. No oh, boy. Yeah, Give I know. Us your word. It's all right, buddy. Just for the wall. <laughs> for the wall. For the wall. For the wall. For the wall. <laughs> this is right up there with the Church of the Holy Spud. Right. <laughs> As Lady Tasha has said, we have been chosen of the wall, but I am also chosen of the ancestor. Like she also, as she said. Uh, we have made a city above ground that everyone is welcome. But I will say this. I will say my piece that I have said on every floor since I have came down here. We will take all. Anybody who wants to stay behind is welcome to trade with the new city and that. But I'm going to say this right now. And like I've sold everyone else. If a single person steps out of line trying to bring back the gas system or hurts anyone within this new city. I will wipe this place off the map. And I say my piece and I walk back to my group. <laughs> <laughs> the wall. Praise the wall. Praise the wall. Praise the wall. <laughs> yes. Orphus. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm going to bardic inspiration Orphus in the corner. I'm going to point to him. I'm going to be like, oh my yes. God. <laughs> So... Your new official religion for the city, huh? Okay. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. I go back. I go back to the group. Is like we absolutely have to use like the badge that they have. That already really has the wall on it. Yeah. Like, for the yeah. it has to. Happen. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. It's too late now. Um. <laughs> whatever you. Whatever you want, Gragnar. Luke. It's funny. Here. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> There's something behind you, Luke. <laughs> behind you. <laughs> there is a Umber Hulk who is still hunched. Again, he's at 10 feet hunched. He is leaning over you, looking at the emerald, and you hear a voice in your head. 
Umber Hulk three. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you want to go through? He simply makes the wall disappear. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh. And he stands there, and you see him look at the other Umber Hulks. <gasps> Wait, is he an awakened? And the other Umber Hulks stand tall for the Umber first Hulk's time. Talk. And the oh, other uh, emeralds kind of almost fall off. And at full height, these guys are 13 feet tall. Oh, <laughs> Them's some big boys. And you hear, you watch as he then leans up and screeches. This Ah. weird bug-like clicking noise that's high-pitched. The other two (laughs) Umber Hulks also lean forward and screech with their entirety. (laughs) And you hear that same (laughs) screech (laughs) echo. You hear that same screech echo throughout the caves. Oh, that's... I don't like that. And he turns <laughs> and he looks to Gragnar. And you watch as uh, Lady Tasha is, is very confused as she steps back. And he steps up to Gragnar and he takes a knee and puts both fists on the ground. Oh, oh, oh. thank God. Thank God. Oh. <laughs> and you oh. see as he leans into Gragnar's face, you hear a voice as well. We are free. Yes. No more work for others. We will work for self. Exactly. That is the exact point of this city. We no go to city. We fight beside you here. We stay here. Bye. So, from my perspective, do I just see this giant fucking thing (laughs) staring at Gragnar in the eyes? Yeah, yeah and this he's, thing is he's thirteen looking. feet tall, and I am four foot right now. And he, <laughs> and he is on his, he's on his, he's like got his hands down again, like punched to the ground, open. And he looks to the emerald Tasha, and he just kind of, you hear this click, almost as if he's like irritated. And he leans over to her, and you see her face go pale for a second. Oh. And then all of you hear Umber Hulk Ree. And the Umber Hulks begin to bash their hands into the ground. Free. 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 And you hear that thudding, not just echoing from this location of three Umber Hulks, you hear it from other Umber Hulks as they begin to fall from the ceiling. Oh, Jesus! (laughs) The wall speaks. The wall speaks. (laughs) Hey, yo, buddy, anyone ever tell you you built like a wall? (laughs) You want as as no less than 10 Umbra Hulk step forward. God damn! And some of them nod and then begin to leave, whereas these three and one more stays. Nice! No. So, so you now have four Umber Hulks. Yeah, no, there were ten Umber Hulks that would have come out to fight you. Yeah, oh. we didn't try and sneak and get caught. The uh, wall was the wall? a good idea. <laughs> yep, <praise laughs> the wall. I built this floor to be very much like their, their this is their makeshift yeah. safe space. Um, and it shouldn't be easy to overthrow. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. No, and you all. watch as Tasha kind of uh, she is making the decision to get behind Fron. <laughs> Why me? <laughs> because you closest. are far less of an immediate danger to me. It's That's like people don't the like nicest me. thing <laughs> anyone's ever said to me. Progress. That is. Hey. She, she, she just stops and goes, that is very sad, but also <laughs> I've, said, I've said nice things to you. Have you apologized? And she just kind of looks at you. <laughs> yes, I have, and that's none of your fucking business. <laughs> mm, I think it's pretty much everybody's business at this point. And she, 
She then proceeds to go ahead and walk over Orphis. <laughs> oh, shit. Minnie. <laughs> he trips. <laughs> <so hard. laughs> yes, oh, chosen one of the wall. Frost's going to wave it at my Orphis. <laughs> my man. Oh, chosen one. <laughs> my man. <laughs> You shall be a sp- spokesman for the wall. Yes. Yeah. One whom shall help scribe its words. Sweet fucking Christ. Oh. We <laughs> spread a goddamn Oh virus. my God. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the other? What was the name of the other cobalt? Scratch. 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 Uh, yes. <laughs> Chosen there Scratch! <laughs> Chosen he Scratch! Leans in, he leans in to scratch his ear. And he, he kind of goes... Ugh. And mm-hmm. she comes back with a smile on her face. You are very lucky. And she places a hand on his, each shoulder to have been chosen. <laughs> chosen! <laughs> chosen! chosen! And you are very lucky. Lucky. To not end up dead for what you've done. Truly. Are you threatening a chosen? (laughs) As a chosen, (laughs) I speak to him as an equal. (laughs) And you watch as the other (laughs) cobalts look around and they're just like, stone on an equal to an emerald? And And then you... Better to get used to it now than when you get to the city. Fran's gonna point in each and every one of the doubters. It was like the non-believers. Chosen <laughs> of the wall. Do you believe now? <laughs> they all I may kind be of look really around. Into this. I'm sorry. And, um, <laughs> I, if they didn't believe it, it doesn't matter at this point. It's more like the emerald has spoken and said that y'all are on equal terms with her. Mm-hmm. Which is a big fucking deal. Way to skip to the top of the cast. (laughs) Now, she does look at you. So what should we do with our prisoners? Mm -hmm. I was going to suggest release them. Mm -hmm. Uh, Let me talk to them. (laughs) Yeah, talk to them first. Then release, because we already ran into... A different situation with troglodytes. I'm not trying to generalize, but we should probably. We have enough oh. chaos going on down. I do. Why don't believe, we all go over there and talk to them. I do believe that if anyone could do it, it would be you all. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thanks. And then she proceeds to offer you a space, and as you guys are offered to move forward, the tro- the uh, umber hulks begin to walk around you. Oh, are they as... following us? Oh, God. Yep. Hell yeah. Ooh. We got a posse. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I want to come. <laughs> no. <laughs> Shows it only. <laughs> Shows it only. <laughs> the wall. The wall. <laughs> As you all come through this area, you lock eyes again with that troglodyte fawn, <laughs> who then proceeds to, uh, for lack of a better description, uh, he proceeds to open his cage. Oh. Oh. Which is made of mostly bone. You can yeah, presume that's... from your past experiences whose bones those might be. And he steps forward. The uh, the other cobalts are kind of like, holy shit, holy shit, Y'all holy shit. Got to get better things to make. You cages, really but whatever. should. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I'll speak to the elf. Oh, I see you've made friends. Yeah, and. <laughs> <laughs> And he looks at you on as if he knows you. Oh, what I'm is just a simple slave? Of course, you wouldn't remember my name. Can I take a Inside. few steps forward towards Fron? 
Hey, you take you take together. a few steps right yeah. there. Yeah. Uh, roll insight, Fron. Actually, history. Let's make it history. Ah, uh, history. Okay, let me see what my history, history is. Um, my history is not very high. Oh, well, that's not bad. Um, uh, 14, 15, 16. No, no, you look at him and you notice something about him. When troglodytes mm -hmm. scar, they scar in a particular way where their flesh turns white. This troglodyte is a pale brown, which is very rare. Mm. But his jaw is almost completely white into the area, as if it had been scarred up repetitively to the point that it is almost entirely white. <gasps> and okay. he looks at you, and you look at him, and he looks at you, <laughs> and you look at him. I'm feeling very meme today. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. And it clicks. White Jaw was the name a troglodyte gave himself after you were done training on him. Oh, oh. You said you would set us free, and then this happens. I take it you only meant your words for those like you. And he looks at your party, he looks at you. How is your father? I'm sorry. <laughs> and in Elvish, he looks around. It's almost like Elvin was his <clears throat> first language. The way that he talks and things like that. I can also it, understand Elvish. Yeah, he, he looks around and he's in Elvish. Look at him! Look at this one. I'm sorry. I'm going to take another I'm step forward. Sorry. <laughs> if it weren't for the fact you left the key on the tray, I would gut you right now. That was the most I could do. Yes. I suppose it was. A small world, isn't it, young master? Cat caught your tongue? There's nothing I could say to make anything right. That is why, very clear. Why are you working with them? Has the kingdom finally decided to conquer a new land? Excuse me? I don't work for the kingdom. He tilts his head a bit. Now, the thing about troglodytes is that troglodytes uh, don't lie. Like, they are, they are, like, in 5e, they're canonically, like, lawful evil, but troglodytes don't lie. So they're Drax. Basically. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and this troglodyte looks at you, and he just kind of Are you rolling DM? <laughs> That's a nat 20 insight. What is running through your... What is your body language saying about you right now, Fran? Regret. If not here for colonization, then what? I heard something about a wall. Oh, uh, <laughs> Um... That's... I'd rather not get into that part right now, but that's that's something completely the different. <laughs> <laughs> the wall. Oh, the wall. <laughs> it's a very long story. It's a very very long story. If you truly have done better, let them go. The ones in the cage. All of them. That there's was... not just the ones here. There's a couple in an air area below us. Tell them to let them all go. Why were they caged? Because the fucking emeralds came up here. I used to sleep in the very spot they built my cage. 
We fought back because the emeralds are not welcome here. Who do you think guarded the first chief? And my wife. Uh, Fran is going to turn to um, one of the little kobolds that was, yeah, that one. Mm. Let them go. What? Fine. Let them <laughs> go. And you see one of the kobolds running behind you. Don't you see the fucking kobolds? Uh, Merhulks. Yeah, they are on equal terms with the emeralds, and the emeralds have claimed us all on equal. What? That doesn't make fucking sense. Who's the boss then? And the troglodyte turns around and looks down. That is a fair decision. (laughs) 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 And he proceeds to open the cages. Um, you watch as a lot of cobalts come out. Uh, some of them are just thin as rails. How? It's very we... obvious. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to say, how do we convince the others to let any other prisoners out? Oh. We just ask. Yeah. yeah, you're kind of on par with our bosses, even though they're saying we're all equal. A lot of cobalts don't know what to do with that knowledge. Then let the others out, too. Yo, Lady Tasha, he told us about the other people downstairs. The reserves. Yes, the reserves. I also want her head on a spit. You can do that when we leave. Yeah, you can do that. Currently, we kind of need her, and there's a lot going on that they haven't explained. For obvious reasons. Leave. But leave. Of course. You said there is a place where they could be safe. There is a place that they can be safe. Uh, I'll even pull out a map and show them where it's at. Who got the deep brochure? I can't read that. Um, <laughs> I, will, I, will ex- I will give. I will get Fran, and we will do a very good yeah. explanation of where like, it's at. Like he's sitting there. He's like, literally, I have no education. Um, you watch as uh, he calls over one of the other cobalts, who's very small, almost looks like a child, but they seem to have some form of knowledge. Uh, and he points to the map, and you all begin to talk with him about the map, as well as this child, Cobalt, who then nods, and then says, your map's shit. (laughs) I mean, I didn't make it, so... I think that was Fran. I will gladly take another one. I think Fran's the one that made it, right? (laughs) No, Fran didn't make it. I don't know who made it then. We got it from somebody else. It is... Oh, was it it Sneaknar? Yeah. Uh, yeah. (laughs) It's very out of date. (laughs) Um, I will say this. Uh, you see several of the other um, cobalts who are mm-hmm. essentially soldiers all begin to kind of gather around the cobalts here that are also like looking around and trying to figure things out. And the emerald uh, Tasha looks a bit worried uh, as she approaches. So several of the uh, Mm. warriors wish to go to your holy land and don't want to fight anymore. I mean, you you did say you lost half your people last night. Uh, I wouldn't want to fight either. So why not let them go? Because we need soldiers. We have the. Are they called again? Umber Hulks, but they we have the Under like Hulks sh- that they agreed to help up. us. How many Umber Hulks did you have last night? We had 30. 15 yeah, were still. That... <laughs> yeah, two that's... died this morning, and four are still with us because the others left because they're free now. Is that a problem? Hey, that's not my fault. 
No, no, no. Every creature should know freedom and they be really able to should. live ever how short a life they want. Maybe you should. I don't like your that. tone. That close. Yes, they really somebody. should. <laughs> the fact that you don't agree with that is the problem. And she looks up and she sees him. Holy oh, shit. <laughs> and I don't no like problem. your tone. And in Elvish, you hear him mumble under his mouth that she is a motherless whore. <laughs> But it's just gonna like like bite his tongue. You're not wrong. <laughs> and in Elvish, he as he steps forward states that you will live so long as you are useful. And then when I am done with you, I will scatter your guts on the graves of my family and ancestors. What is he saying? What is yeah, what beautiful is he eyes. I know you're fucking lying. <laughs> and I as would she tries say... To, as she tries to back up, she eventually bumps into a Umber Hulk <laughs> who doesn't move. All I'm gonna say, because I don't understand what he says, but I feel like the body language is enough to, like, not oh, put two and two together, but it, it's very aggressive. You know what? Like, let, me give, let me give you a free nat 20 on that insight. He mm. means that he's like his body language says mm. the minute you and I are alone in a room, mm -hmm. it's uh, it's it. <laughs> it's I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna say it's crazy <laughs> yeah, e for everybody. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna say it's crazy how our actions have consequences, isn't it? Mm. So Fraud's like, oh, <laughs> I, I have a quick question. Yeah, does Jerem know, know Elvish? I would imagine so. I don't think so. And he just kind of he looks at at uh, Luke, and and nope. he looks at Fran, and and perfect, eloquent, high Elvish. <laughs> I wouldn't know if it you know was written in front of me. I guess I don't know. I don't know anything but common. But I'll just not be like okay, right, fair enough. But hostility hostilities aside, mm -hmm. um, any of the people who stay behind and actually do help. I will make it worth their while. Anything. I will gladly pay. I will gladly pay them. Figure something out that they want, and I can see what I can do in within make the extent of sure, my power. Make sure my people have a home. And he no. proceeds to. He proceeds to just kind of walk away at that point. Get up, <sighs> and they all kind of like. Hey, hey, hey. Boss is upset. Chief is upset. <laughs> and these guys are going to uh, peace follow out. The map, follow the map. Yep, follow the map. Follow the map. Um, hey, who had the map? Gragnar. Uh, Gragnar. Why? Where'd you go? Uh, not twenty. You don't have the map anymore, and you see the little kid running away. <laughs> I mean, it was. I mean, he said it was shit anyway. <laughs> I know the fuck I am. <laughs> I live here. Good thing Fraun has a photographic memory. <laughs> Very true. I can write that <laughs> shit up no matter how crappy it was. <laughs> and we're also going to go ahead and have these guys disappear. And some of these guys are going to disappear too because the co cobalts took them with them. Oh, I thought they just disappeared. That would have been significant. Oh, that would have been awful. <laughs> I'm like, oh, where did they go? <laughs> <laughs> like a cut off scream yeah. <laughs> I will say that these guys decide to stay because they are genuinely loyal to the emeralds these That's guys right. have the intellig average intelligence of like a, a 13, 14 mm -hmm. yeah, sounds about right sounds like me so, there uh, they will scratch an orifice so uh, because we're uh, we're all equals now I'm just gonna I'm gonna get the fuck out of here <laughs> Stay fortified, bless the Lord. Orphis and Scratch. We shall be the leaders of the new world. No, the fuck we won't. <laughs> we will be <laughs> passive. We will make sure our people are taken care of. And the wall. The wall! Guide us. <laughs> yes, the wall will guide us. And you can I are see, going. Can I see them? Because they're like down the hallway. Yeah, they're down the hallway. You okay, so I'm going to use message. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to use message because they do have those symbols on. 
I'm just yeah. gonna put like a little message in his head. It's like everything's connected. Look at your badge <laughs> on your shirts. And you see Orpheus go. <laughs> I was chosen since long ago. I can't imagine sneaking our upstairs like they're fucking with me at this point. Brother, we were chosen long ago. The new us well. I am going to pretend like we don't know that we're siblings. And you will proceed to just not cause problems. Oh my god. Fare thee well. Praise the wall. Praise the wall. The wall, <laughs> the wall giveth, the wall taketh away. The, the wall has chosen giveth, you. The wall taketh away. <laughs> I say again, we have planted a fucking virus. Oh, oh my, god. my god. And with that, these guys kind of go off. So, yeah. <laughs> On and to you, the next city. <laughs> and at this point, uh, you are now. Uh, you have a bit of a force now. Mm -hmm. It's not as much as you thought it would be. In fact, pretty much everyone left, except. For hey, what we you still see got here. bullets, and hey. uh, I keep forgetting the other Umber Hulks. names. Umber Hulks. So you mentioned you lost half your force. How big is theirs? What are we looking to to be up? Against? I mean, she said last night that they lost half their force versus whatever showed up here. I'm thinking though. I've been having a thing. I've been simmering on this entire thing. Yeah. Um. What the fuck's that dude? That bitch's name? Fucking Dave Nars going by now. What? Fel oh, fellow something. Uh, oh, Feldris. Sorry, I was responding yeah, to something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, um, Feldris uh, is going by. Um, we have noticed, and it's been going on for a while. Like I said, I'm chosen of the ancestor, and he's fixated on that fact. Like, that's a thing we know at this point. Um, we ran into him, like, yeah, when I event when I originally left, and I feel like we can use that to our advantage. Can I look, can I talk to, uh, what the fuck was the main Emerald's name again? Fuck. Uh, Lady Tasha. Lady Tasha. Oh my God. Lady Tasha. Yeah. And what do you want? She looks exhausted now that all this grandiose shit is done. <laughs> so we know what, well, for lack of a better term, we know what your use is. What are theirs? I'm going to look at the other two emeralds. <laughs> oh, I mean, she's got a point. <laughs> and you look at the, the short pudgy one with the uh, blue emerald kind of goes, oh, well, well, I. What can you goes, help us with? Thrash push it. Thrash simply lifts him up and puts him behind him. I'm an executioner. Oh, wait, who's talking? The thrash. thrash, the big one. The, the one. Oh, the big okay. one with the red emerald around his neck. And the other? He's our knowledge. That is useful. Both are useful. He's timid. Weak. Weak-willed. Oh, okay. Coward. Okay, oh. well. <laughs> <laughs> I can say that he's my husband. Ah. Uh, good for them. <laughs> praise, praise the wall. Praise the wall. <laughs> No, I take it we no longer have a force. <clears throat> and we still have a force around us. And he looks around. And for the first time, his very plain face cracks. That's a funny joke. <laughs> it's a force. It's better than nothing. And like I said, we have a possible thing we can take advantage of. His fixation on me and being chosen by the ancestor. Uh -oh. So, you're going to fight him. Yeah, that's honestly the plan. I'm going to turn to the the knowledge one. Mm -hmm. Felic. What was his name again? I'm sorry. Felic. 
Phallic? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that is exactly it. Yeah. That's what I wrote down. Phallic. Correct. Phallic. 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 Like you fell and you licked something. Phallic. I have a question for you. Yes. What do you know of the white dragon below? Oh, um, well, hmm. Uh, you see, I had been gathering information on the white dragon for quite some time because I believed that there was truth to the rumors that there was a set of uh, kobolds who were causing problems. But we also saw a rise in monsters, and what I didn't do you know? He's got to paint the scene. Right. I don't need context. I... You asked what I knew, and I was I was saying what I what I knew, but I I apologize. I I I was uh, painting the scene, as they said, but more more about context. You see, you see, they've been active for quite some time down here, and we we didn't know that until it was too late. But I want you to know that we know where the white dragon is. They're at the bottom of the pit. They're very proud to say that. But anyone who approaches the pit in this area or below is then cast into it. You know they how they got down here. Uh, they say she fell. They say she fell and became a bright white light. When she landed, she was um, a goddess that uh, chose. Um, Feld Feldris, as you called him, chose him as her guardian, as her paladin. Quite Can deep. I recognize what he's saying as to what exactly happened? I mean, she, your With mom the bright fell. light and stuff? Your mom fell, she glowed, and she was a goddess to them. You could try to make some parallels to, to reality. Question, though. Yes. So you said they've been active for a long, for a while, at the very least. Well, I, I don't mean, know. I'm just, I'm just thinking, like, because the last mm -hmm. time we were here, since this is not including when I lived here, obviously, but the last time we came to visit, there was like the very obvious, like, speak coming from the bottom of the pit. Why didn't y'all do anything about it then? Like, yeah. it's been months. Like, probably, like. It's been a long time since I've been back here. I, uh, well, um, I, I wanted to, and Lady Tasha kind of clicks her tongue, and he goes, mm -hmm. but I was outvoted, and, uh, and, and yeah, Thrash also, yeah, uh, Thrash sounds... also thought it would be a good idea to just kind of, you know, like, it yeah. was happening, but we were, we were the three that agreed that it it would be good to deal with something, but the others, the others were very, very comfortable. And it'd been a very long time, and since someone had tried anything, so mm -hmm. it uh and this came back happens. to bite us. This is what happens when you have like two people in charge of thousands. I pointedly look at Tasha, <laughs> <laughs> and she pointedly looks back. I voted <laughs> to kill them all. And just stop this from happening. We ran a... What is the word that the kings used? Yes. A coup? No, a democratic... There was not a goddamn thing democratic about this shit. Don't you pull that shit. Oh, it was for us. We voted. You did. Yeah, I bet you did. I bet you did. Look, democratic oligarchy, I believe is the word for it, but I'm not quite sure. All I can say is the people who did want to do something about it had a backup plan. The people who didn't, well, they either died or got killed on the way out. And even those with plans didn't leave unscathed, now did we? So. We're outnumbered now. You have all the loyalty in the world around you. And she kind of looks at her guys. Again, you have the situation of... Essentially, this is how it's split up. 
There's the people loyal to you and the people loyal to them. So, we come together in unity to defeat a common enemy. And then you can take whoever you want up top. That's the plan. I said my piece on the matter. And we can have a wonderful friendship between topsiders and the emeralds. Yeah, I plan to have a very nice relationship with you guys, but I've said what will happen if that changes. Well, in that regard, I suggest everyone get some rest because the food was cooking and now it's burnt. And she points back and no one is looking at the food that was cooking. <laughs> Can't be that bad. Uh, <laughs> so is that all that you know about the dragon? Oh, I, I know lots, but you cut me off. So I just kind of assumed apologize. you wanted the bare minimum. Okay. Well, uh, long story short, um, my investigation found that she was an abomination of some sort. Uh, two tails, a head, broken two wings. Tails. Oh, yes, she is. She is. Whatever made that creature did not do it well. Did they see? You said she fell. Was there anybody else with her? We don't know. That I can't confirm. She just... The, the word of the day was falling from the sky and apparently he fell not too soon after seeing the light and landed and she saved him. Those who worship her claim that she is capable of transforming people into either spectacular beings or monsters depending on your faith. That's what they tell themselves, but I'm pretty sure it's more tied to a polymorph spell. Of uh, unknown origin, might I add. Does the god Bahamut ring any bells for you? I don't know anything other than what topsiders have said. I had I had a library once, but it uh they uh they burnt it all. There's a couple of books left. Leaders saved a couple of them. And has taken him to the new city. Well, that's that's quite nice. It'd be nice to know that the books made it. Is everyone going to get to read them, though? Yeah, I don't see why not. Oh, 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 oh yeah, yes, yes. I don't, I don't see why that would be a problem either. Hmm. My opinion of yours dropped slightly. Look, I. <laughs> Look, anything I else just... of note? <laughs> We're allies now, right? Working together towards a common good, and you see uh, Tasha just kind of roll her eyes and rub her face. Tell them what they want to know. I don't know what they want. They're just asking fake questions. I want to know about the white dragon. I told you, the rumor mill said she fell from the sky, turned into a bright light. She was some sort of white, scaleless lizard person first, and then she turned into something else, and then she fell. And Can I make an insight grade. check to see if he knows something that he's hiding? Yeah, feel free. Was I, was I like, Am born I... when this happened? I just thought about that, because I live on the fucking top layer. So I'm like, did I see anything? I, don't uh, know I got a, ring a, bell. a 13. Asked. He is being very honest with you, but he seems to be getting irritated as well because he's telling you everything he knows and you keep asking the same question over and over again. I, I'm trying to figure out a way to... So, uh, no, Gregdar, you were not uh, born when this all happened. This has all been right. going over the course of months, but like it's it's basically been happening since around the time you went up top first. Mm. I was wondering. Mm. Uh, I'm trying to figure out a way to re uh rephrase. rephrase. While you figure that out, I'm gonna go bathroom real quick. Okay. Um, Front wasn't didn't you say there was something that you realized? Uh, uh and Fran's gonna keep cooking. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Fran. Mm-hmm. What was it that you realized? Uh, 
I can't lie to you. So I prefer that I you won't. didn't. So he's gonna <laughs> going to he's going to continue to cook. <laughs> You're gonna start seeing her get mad. <laughs> <laughs> Go, go, go. I got, I got this. I got this. I won't, I won't no, I, no, 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 Luke. It's like, <laughs> really, it's fine. <laughs> Ron? What? Yes? What do you know? Uh, um, only that I will not partake in whatever decision is made of your mother. You're not going to tell me, are you? No matter what I say, if I did tell you, would not change your mind on the outcome that you have decided. What do you mean by that? All right. What did I miss? <laughs> <laughs> They're arguing. Ooh, <laughs> I'm cooking. Ooh. Ron, Ron and Luke are trying to cook and Serafina's interrogating Ron. <laughs> It's really not important. It, uh, this well, is important. This particular detail is not going to matter to you. How do you know? Because you're stubborn. What do you know? I know... What will happen if we save your mother? Good or bad? That depends on how you look at it. She's going to take a very deep breath. Do you not think I can handle it? Mm, it's not that I don't think you can handle it. It's that I don't think you will accept it. Try me. Let's say we save your mother. How do you think she's going to react when she comes back? Confused? That's what you can call it. What do you think will happen to her mind? What are you getting at? Think clearly. Think about how she was at our wedding. I thought that was because of how she is now. Yes, it is. She is being quite literally torn asunder from her mind. So imagine bringing somebody back whose mind is every which way except for their home. If you want me to be very blunt about it, and it's the reason that I decided... To stay out of it is because once I tell you, you're going to want to try to help her, and it's not going to I work. I was already going to help her. her. This that's what the potion her. that Sam gave me was it's for. It's not going to help her. Then tell me why. It's going to make her an empty shell, a husk of her former self, and there's going to be nothing left. There's no memories. There is no person. There is just a shell. Your mother's mind is so ripped to shreds that they will not be your mother. How when do you, you know? Her. And with that, the troglodyte steps forward because he's seen it before. What are you talking about?
They don't just bruise your body in the kingdom. Do they, From? No. What they is he talking about? Mind. They wreck you, they leave you broken, and then they use magic to fix you again. But that works on the body. It'll even work on the soul. When a mind is shattered. There's nothing left to fight back. Are you saying the kingdom did this? No. The kingdom would have been neater about it. I'm sorry, I don't mean to step in, but... How is it my wife used to tell me, say it nicely? You're dense. Am I right to assume that the white dragon is the mother you speak of? Yes. What happened? You said she's out of her mind, correct? Yes. That is the assumption. That is facts. <coughs> easier. That makes it easier to forgive her. One cannot blame someone for when they are mad. But if her mind is scattered, you can fix her body all you want. She's powerful. There I've to be seen something. it. She doesn't even know she's doing it. That's what you were trying to say, right? That she doesn't know she's transforming kobolds and other creatures she into doesn't abominations? Know. Then put her out of her misery! You watch as Garum kind of leans back. There has feeling. to be something! This is why I didn't want to bring it up. It would only cause you more pain, and you've made up your mind. You're not going to stop yourself from wanting to save her. No matter what we tell you, no matter what facts, what truths, what any proof that I could possibly So not telling you, me was going to help? Would it have been any better than now? I don't like being lied to, Fran. You claim I lied to you. Not telling me might as well be lying. And There's... you promised that you would not hide things from me anymore. I didn't hide things from you. I have been very open that I had an epiphany, and because of that epiphany, I chose. My decision was outwardly stated just because you didn't have the details doesn't make me a liar. And of all the things, I expect you to respect the fact that I have been nothing but honest with you. To claim me a liar, to spare your feelings, to tell you, I didn't want to tell you the truth. I didn't want to tell you what's going to happen to your mother. I didn't want to tell you that she's be going to become essentially senile if you save her. Why would I risk hurting you by telling you the truth when I could just sit and choose to let you make the decision you've already made up your mind to do? You are an interesting group. And he's going to kind of walk towards the food that he sees Luke making. I'm helping. Okay. So. I also helped. <laughs> yeah, I'm really at disadvantage that you help. Garum. I rolled a 14. <laughs> yes. Yes. Did you also know? I had an idea that it was possible. I had been holding out hope that I would be wrong, that maybe she could pull herself together. Didn't know anything. I don't think Fran knew anything either. But 
think Ron did what he thought was best. And I also think that you wouldn't have changed your mind. As you have it now. You still want to try to save her, right? Why wouldn't I? Brian had already made a decision to back you on your choice. And he knew nothing he said would change that. Right. But I'm a liar. And Fran uh, is going to walk past Seraphita and go help the others cook. Not that I don't see what your point was. Because I do. Lie of omission and all that. But you gotta realize that that boy would never try to lie to you. He would never intentionally cause you harm. He made the decision because he knew you had. But not telling me. And letting me make things worse. No. Seraphina, if you do save your mother's body, and her mind is gone. Do you think that is worse? Or do you think that ending her life is worse? Or do you think that leaving her as she is is worse? There's... I don't know what the right decision is anymore. Because there isn't one. Rocket, well, take it from me. There is no right choice. There is survival. There's doing what you feel is correct in the moment. So there is no right choice. Well, let me correct that. They made the wrong choice, and he points to the emeralds. <laughs> <laughs> they are salt of the earth assholes. We weren't even part Preach. of this conversation. <laughs> and <Preach>. yet now... <laughs> they acted in a way to harm others for generations. Am and I yet... wrong? And he holds his hands up, and he kind of almost grandiosely walks in a circle. <laughs> Am and I yet, wrong? Anyone here going to say that they haven't suffered under tyranny? And he looks to you. Are you trying to imbue tyranny? Are you? Oh, he's talking to me. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I thought he was talking to the emeralds. No. <laughs> oh, they are. <laughs> That's an easy question. <laughs> are no, I'm to... not. But now I'm expected to kill my fucking mother. No, you are not. You're expected to weigh the options based on truth. You wanted Fron to tell you what well, he came across his mind, an idea that he had, and he did. And now you're mad at him because he thought he had a brain and put two and two together. And I hate to say it, but you're not very good at that, are you? It's still nice to know people realize something. Yeah, but at what point is he supposed to say, hey, maybe you should kill your mom? He didn't say that, and he doesn't expect that of you. Fran doesn't expect you to kill your mother. He expects you to go ahead and do what you're going to do because he knows you. He trusts you. You're his fucking wife, and you just called him a liar knowing his history. Knowing that he did have to lie for a very long time. And he had to kill. And he had to do it all with a smile on his face so that some assholes on a fucking throne would treat him halfway decently. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. He's not going to be the one to yell at you about that. He's not going to say that out loud because that would make him the dick because he's just trauma dumping on you at that point. But let me put it this way. You've been through shit, he's been through shit, I've been through shit, everyone's been through shit. But we don't expect you to kill your mom. We expect you to take in and decide things. You think Gragnar, the person who has all the right, hell, the fucking troglodyte just said he'll basically... Let, let me put it this deal. way. You expect me to make my own decision but the decision that I want to choose is still going to make me an idiot. No. 
No. No one claimed you were an idiot. Did you know your mother's mind was shattered? Did you know for a fact? No. You didn't. Fraun put two and two together after the wedding. Is that correct, Fraun? Is that the time frame? Yep. So, let me ask you this. Uh, what would you have done? If if Franz's <laughs> mother were in this scenario, specifically the woman who is lying in a bed and weak right now, had to be saved or stopped, what would you have told him if you realized that saving her body might doom her soul? Let him make the decision. And he has let you make the decision. He knew you well enough to know that no matter what he said, nothing would change. He said as much. You've got to learn to not push onto him your own fears. You've got to like learn. Pushing. You're scared of having to hurt your mom, and you're scared of having to go out and kill her. And so you put onto him the, the idea that he wants you to do it. He doesn't. You just said that you thought he wanted you to kill your mother. That is not the case. Now, I've been real quiet for a long while, and that's because you guys are just kind of doing your own shit. My wife is out in the middle of the ocean war, uh, and uh, I kind of have my own issues to deal with. But one thing I will say is that neither you nor him have, uh, how do I put this? Uh, Try to force each other into any scenarios. No. Wait, we have or haven't had a character? Haven't. Okay, I was like, I don't remember us doing that. <laughs> but... Do you love him? Of course I love him. Okay. Do you think he loves you? Without a doubt. What are the worst things you could say to him? You just said it. What is the worst thing you could say to him? He's a liar. Mm. Why is that the worst thing you could say to him? I'm looking at the shot. <laughs> Sorry. Shut up. <laughs> you ask me again, I'm sorry. <laughs> what could you say to him? <laughs> hmm? What what did you say to him? I called him a liar. Mm, okay, so the worst thing you could have said, you said, right? Yeah. Okay. So, as adults, and his demeanor almost completely shifts at this point, because you've admitted that you've done wrong by Fron, and you've admitted that you are frustrated, you've admitted that you have this weight on you, and you felt like for a moment you were being told to kill your mother. And but his entire demeanor changes. So, what do we as adults do when we hurt people? Kill them. Hurt more people. <laughs> <laughs> I will gut you both. <laughs> Yes, there we go. That's the right fucking answer. That was my second guess. <laughs>
Bureau of the People. Luke, you um, you get in a lot of fights, don't you? <laughs> Look, okay. <laughs> That's curious. I want to talk about it. Just been, just been need to go over right. there and try that terrible looking food that looks like it's burnt four times over. No, it's cooked. It's nice. I taste it. It wasn't it. my fault this time, okay? <laughs> and you we need just to... unburnt it, duh. Guys. <laughs> you need to go ahead and talk with him. It's fine. We've done crazier. Uh, you know, you were literally in half. We had a whole situation with that. Out of character. Not... Do we have time for that? <laughs> uh, conversation? We will probably we will start that. Se- we will start with that next session. Mm. Ah! A whole two yeah. weeks from now. Cool. Yeah, you do not have that much time to think of an apology. Do not RP. <laughs> no, I don't want to RP it. That's why I was like, do we yeah. want to do that now? Or Nope, nope. Y'all can go back to doing smut in your RP. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, uh, we I would, but someone hasn't been responding. <laughs> I've been working, woman. <laughs> Working that ass. Ah! (laughs) (laughs) And with that, we're going to end the session. All right. We've had our fun little note. We've had our crazy note. We've had our emotional note. Really running the nine, the nine mile race here, huh? Gotta get that two months out. (laughs) And I got to talk shit, baby. Let's go. (laughs) Actually, yeah, did we, uh, yeah, did did we level up? Finger on nose. Y'all are completely killing the Emerald Slayer, right? <laughs> I mean, yeah. They are leaving this fucking cave. Hey, yeah. two weeks. Let, let, let us make that decision in two weeks. Well, uh, also, one of them. I'm also going to back up Luke. Do we level up? <laughs> mm, actually, mm, I do the last time, so not me. Do <laughs> the, the uh, level 11s. Level twelve. Level eleven's go to level twelve. Yay! Yeah. Which means you can throw harder shit at us. And then y'all gotta send me your updated character stuff so I can update the character cards. <laughs> you know the thing wait. that's funny yeah. is that. Well, wait, I don't level realize. up. No, remember? Because you said you were gonna not take it up. Right. I was gonna. I was gonna hold back a level. That's yeah. Right, so y'all could catch up. Because <laughs> you're level fucking I, thirteen. I know. I'm sorry. Do you know how? Do you know how out, how out of date the cards I have on stream are? Yeah, you're. We're They're still level like seven on your one. stream. Uh, Fron is level eight on the cards. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that was five levels ago. <laughs> I keep we're level twelve the now. It. What's this button do? Oh yeah. There you go. You're welcome. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right. What do y'all think about this session so far? Y'all actually no, went and didn't funny. fight. Very productive. We, we were yes. very we established a virus religion. <laughs> All I have to say is that the way that this world works is faith is a very powerful thing. Uh, I mean, God touched land. Yeah. Faith, faith is a powerful uh-huh. thing. We have a cobalt in the group that's thinking, dang, I don't want to have to pick a God when I die. I'm just <laughs> 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 Also, Fran, what the fuck? Since when was your HP 137? That's that's because of the the good berries I ate. Yep. What the fuck? <laughs> I can make good berries. How do you think I've been no, giving you blueberries? I know that. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> also, how the fuck do you think your party has stayed like with basically bonus HP this entire time? Y'all all has still. I have forgot you. about that actually. You I know we had five. Have, yeah, you all have plus five bonus HP. Tempo. Yeah, I'm at 86. I'm at 86 health right now. Because Fron be feeding y'all berries every day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. I'm the group yeah. cook. Bitch. You never said that. You just said we had five HP. Cook. I said y'all have a, y'all have five HP because Fron has declared that they are feeding y'all every day a good berry. I don't remember y'all are, that. Y'all are in the underdark. Other than eating bugs, y'all, that's all y'all been able to have. Yeah, good berries are good. They they fill you up. <laughs> yeah, the only other food I have down here because we know how Gragnar is. Uh, we have thirty days of wolf rations. <laughs> oh, <laughs> on the cart. <laughs> right, yeah, but we don't have uh, the cart. Yeah, exactly. that's what, that, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. We don't. Have we the didn't cart. bring Plus, rations. 
Uh, I don't. Uh, Ragnar doesn't. I'm going to tell you right rations. now. If you want me to do a rations thing, I can keep track of y'all's rations. No, I was going to say I have rations. I, I mean, know. I can track of mine. I specifically yeah. said, literally from camp from session one, it, Ragnar does not believe in rations. He eats literally all of what he's given. It's true. <laughs> he did yeah, say I that. remember that. Yeah, it's one of the reasons that y'all specifically didn't give him rations when y'all first started doing this. <laughs> Because the first time Fran started giving him rations, Gregnar just ate it, and Fran was like, hold up. <laughs> You're supposed to save them. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> like, oh, um, no. That was five days worth of rations. <laughs> it's funny because I was looking and through my inventory. two seconds in my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because I was looking through my inventory. I was just like, oh, wait, we can, like, feed the hungry kobolds. And I was like, wait a second. I no, forgot. My inventory is full of war crimes. There's no food <laughs> in here. There's no food here. Yeah, this inventory is insane. Can we get a war cry? I'm going to be wanted in the <laughs> countries. War cry. Hello. Like, I'm going war? to commit many war crimes. <laughs> This is like I think the craziest my inventory has ever looked as a character, mostly because Gragnar's definitely. <laughs> Gragnar is a kleptomaniac horror. He's is... gotten better. He has gotten well, better about the kleptomancy. Do we want me to read through my fucking inventory? Fucking go for it. <laughs> give me. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. I want you to give uh, me the. No, no, no. I was like, one. make a list of it and then send it to the DM. I have a list of it. <laughs> Copy and paste That's it and send was... it to the DM. Oh, okay, I, I do have to hold go, on. so I'll send you yes. my character sheet uh, when I can. Okay. All right, later. Thank you guys, guys for tuning in. You. For those of y'all who Long did, Christmas. praise the wall. Praise the wall. <laughs> praise the wall. But yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. For those of y'all who did, um, if you want to follow any of us, you can go find us on YouTube, uh, youtubecom slash aasb. I'm sorry, at aasb. It's freaking TTRPG. <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> it's been a while, okay? Yeah, it's been, <laughs> been two <a> months. <laughs> if you want to follow Serafina, you can find them on twitch.tv slash lustriavt. If you want to follow our wonderful Gragnar, you can follow them on twitch.tv slash literaldemon underscore. If you want to follow Luke, you can follow them on twitch.tv uh, slash was it, is, does he go by Jojo Panda or Kaido Productions? I think it's Twitch. Jojo Panda. Either one, go follow them. They're also on YouTube, which is pretty dope. If you want to follow our wonderful Morphe, uh, you can find him on uh, TikTok for, was it Morphe Time? Uh, TikTok, Morphe Time, because yeah. like, I was I was extremely tired at the time I made it. And if you want to follow me, good luck. I'm on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I got, uh, Apothecary you Witch. Yeah, YouTube.com slash at Apothecary Witch. That's where I post most of my stuff. I do Twitch streaming. I thought it was Beck Plays now. Uh, it's Beck Plays as the channel name, but it's uh, at Apothecary Witch if you want to find me. Yeah. I might update anyway, it, actually. I'll be making more content soon. I'm actually going to be working on some really cool uh, random encounters made with this Yay. tarot deck. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're yeah. welcome. Thank you. Well, my <laughs> wife got it for me, thank you. I <laughs> brought it. <laughs> That's great. You had no intent of me having it. It was a white elephant. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and pop off because I got work tomorrow. Y'all have a okay. wonderful night. Bye -bye. Goodbye. Bye.